Cosby shows? What? Oh, no. no, that was a deep. That was a deep was fake. That, okay. that was a deep oh. fake. I feel like I recognized you from somewhere. But I guess no, no, no. That was a fan. A fellow clans member. Deep fake from what? What Edited happened? Edited it in. The time they're Vito saying said I the said the hard R. R Destiny. That's insane. Wasn't it Vito him? here? No, wait. This guy literally volunteers his time at anti-racist uh, after-school programs to help B integrate. L M. Wait, they have those? <laughs> yes. Yeah. I, uh, you know that book, Anti Racist Baby? One of my favorites. I love that book. That's baby. not a real book. What the fuck are you talking about? That's a real book. It's about a baby who's anti racist. Yeah. Anti racist baby? It's actually Vito's. Yeah, yeah, look it up. Google it. What the fuck is this? I'm working on a follow up. What the fuck is this? Is more easy. -racist no one has baby. the balls to be pro racist these days. I think some people have. There's the balls definitely to be people who have the balls to be pro racist. No. We need more of them around here. This is a bit you of might an not echo call chamber. it that. <laughs> Speak for yourself, buddy. Speak for yourself. Um... Well, we all hate Muslims, so that counts. Hey, rest in piss, Karanto. Sorry, buddy. Um... Shout out Islamophobia. Am I right, Destiny? Don't include me in any of these weird statements. Okay, <laughs> do not condone the stupid shit you're saying. Was uh, I the one who like really triggered him? Because I remember the last show, I went hard on the like uh, Islamic child rape apologist shit. I think my guess is going to be he just started getting pushback from family members who started to learn more and more about my stream or things I was saying, and then it, it, it there was too much pressure. Probably. My guess. The yeah. last one ever. Are you planning on canceling the show? I don't. Does know. he actually we'll live in Somalia? We'll see. Um, we'll see. He's from Somalia, yeah, but I think his family does decently because he studies in Malaysia. Okay. But I don't have his whole, I don't know his like whole fucking docs or anything. And I wouldn't fucking dox him <laughs> if I knew. So jeez. <laughs> Can you even dox somebody who lives in Somalia? Like I don't think anybody would actually go there to bother anybody. You just pick one of the mud huts and hope you're right. Jesus yeah. Jesus Christ. You ever play WoW? No. Yeah, I played it for like a week. It sucks. Okay. Do you remember Damn. the city Orgrimmar? No. Orgrimmar is like the big orc capital. And I think of like anywhere in Africa, I just assume like they're just living in <laughs> huts outside of Orgrimmar. <laughs> okay. <laughs> just like, I can't think of anything else, man. Wes, what city are you from again? Uh, I'm a Texan. Oh, my house is in Austin now. Oh, okay, you're lucky. You know, I heard an inspiring story the other day about an African um, genius. They call him uh, Mr. Least. He's like Mr. Beast. But um, he built a computer out of poop, actually. And wow. it's pretty impressive. Yeah, it's pretty That's cool. That's really cool. He was running uh, He was running OSRS on it. it was <laughs> oh, wow. He was, he was mining gold. I'm and he you was a copy. Giving that to the entire family. Baby That's fucking sick, dude. You who know how, like, a uh, shithole... playing shit outside my fucking window? <laughs> Who did that? Can we eat? listen? This is a this is a nose blower show. Go get some goddamn tissues. All right. There's a fucking neighborhood basketball game going on outside my fucking house. Vito, oh, just a few urbanites. Yeah, Vito, go get them. Go <laughs> see it. Drop a slur what on them. What do I gotta do? Make them disperse. Guys, guys, they're all a bunch of n-words, eh? Stop. Oh my no, God. look. All right. Or oh, sorry, hold on. I don't know why I just said you guys click. Okay, I'm cutting my YouTube, switching to uh, kick, kick.com slash destiny. Love you guys. Be careful. I'll be over there. Oh, and then if you're on my YouTube, I love you guys. I'll be back on the um, 16th, 17th. I'll, it should be a normal stream on the 17th. Okay, stop here. There we go. Sure. Um, do you know what they their name is on shit? I'll hit them up. I cannot forgive these people. I personally invested $150 of my own money, okay? This is money I don't have. I'm going into debt on a beautiful poster for the show, okay? Wait, that made everyone it? look... Uh, 
yeah. Do you have Twitter? Salvo? That, that, that you poster mean that? was so fucking ugly. <laughs> that little fucking thing? Uh, that poster was so nasty. It looked like someone gave me meth. What? That's just what you look like. Oh. Okay. okay. That is, Fuck yourself. Uh, that's the joke. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, anyway, uh, I invested a lot of money into this. I'm going into debt, and uh, I even drew. We had Ice Poseidon drawn, okay? We had Action Man drawn. Looking very that's good. That's a beautiful poster. It is. And they didn't fucking show up. You're probably uh, sleeping. Oh, your top two biggest... I don't give a fuck. Not here. Why? My money yeah. doesn't sleep. Cancel the show. <laughs> Put it in a fucking grave. Wait, can I... Oh, hold okay. on. Let I it die. I got a response from Ice. He says he's... Yeah, one sec. He's in a cool. Nice. So he'll be here in a sec. All right. Fine. Can I say it really quick? Okay, I don't know if this is intentional or what's going on. Wes, you look fresh yeah, as fuck babe. right now, okay? I like the chain, the black <laughs> shirt. I like the haircut even. I don't know what you're doing right now, but it's working. Nice job, okay? Good for you, all right? The glasses, Down everything 70 is... pounds these, these last three months. I'm feeling wow. dirty. Oh, that too. Nice job. I've gained 0. 0.8 inches on my dick. Nice Not job, nice job. I've gone from 5.5 to 6.3. Do I me a favor, though, okay? You got to do us. You got to make us a promise, okay? What's that? Don't become like Greek, okay? No, Don't do that, God, all right? God, no. I'd rather... Um... The second I see myself on an incel arc, I'm blowing my brains out. Are you on like a... Also, what? You got a little You got a little thing right here. Take that off, too. Sorry. You're perfect. <laughs> it's a hole. It's a hole. Oh, fuck. Okay, never mind. It's Forget a hole. It. Actually... Get, get some Get some Sharpie and just like cover in your yep, shoulder. There you go. Yep, color it in. Black shoulder? <laughs> color in your skin with some Sharpie. Fuck it, it'll work, dude. Wait, are you, are you, what is your weight loss strategy? How's it going so well for you? Yeah, what are you doing? Uh, well, I started taking a, the, one of those injection things, and then I just... That'll do it. Which, in, what, it, like, it's not, that's not a Zempic, is, is it? One? Oh, no, okay. no, it's, it's like a newer version. It's the same premise, but it has, like, a fat-burning thing, too. And then I've just, I've been, I'm thinking, like, three and a half months, five days a week at the gym. Jesus. Are you, um, are there any, uh, side effects for the one thing? Does it just, like, make you I've had appetite? none. Nice. Yeah. Okay. No, everyone else has side effects. I've had zero. It just just destroys your appetite. It's like I'm doing a Eugenia Cooney cosplay every day. I have to remind myself to eat. Oh, I had awesome. to stop taking the Ozempic because I was getting. It just made me too sick. But I'm gonna made try it. sick. Different... Yeah, just like violently sick. Yeah. For a while, it gave me oily shits, but I don't know if that was because of Ozempic or just because of changing my diet. Yeah. But I kind of about um. I kind of shit you... like a lava ill for a while. Ozempic is relatively new for the public, right? No, it's been it's Is been that, around for like, I don't know, the like a decade for diabetes. So it's it's well, yeah. it's and, and as a weight loss drug though. Yeah, yeah that's like I, a guess, generally I, prescribed I guess my question is, are you worried at all about like long term? No, because you know anything? what's worth long term is being morbidly obese. So couldn't you lose weight a different way? Yeah, it just speed runs it. So like the risk of what a year of taking this versus what two or three years of doing versus that hard work. <laughs> Versus yeah. eating healthy and working out. Well, then it's also... Well, I, do all that. Don't, I do all that already. It's also... It's none of that like... matters. Don't moralize it. That's fucking retarded. Who cares? Whether you can yeah. lose something with hard work or blah, 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 or do something different, like, at the end of the day, um, like, it's a numbers game. The chances of you adhering to some ultra-strict whatever bullshit regimen is going to be lower than if you've got a pill or some medicine that helps you lose it more. Like, there might be 100 people that try to do it the traditional way, and, like, 10 of them succeed, but the other 90 guys should have just done a thing. As long as, as, long as you're losing weight. Yeah, I always wanted cheat cravings. codes, but I just didn't want to do bariatric surgery i think it's like the first thing that was just as successful without having to go into the knife i, th I think the cheat codes are fine i just i always see a lot of people kind of talking about the potential long-term implications yeah, of ozempic yeah but care. whatever potential long-term things it is it's going to be way better than being yeah. obese for years and years exactly, and years yeah. and years it's not even gonna be close yeah. yeah yeah that's how i i'm like no matter what it could be it's the just the damage of obesity is so fucking high that it's worth it whatever it is what do you guys well, think about steroids people they're awesome. Oh. Steroids are great too. It's the same premise, right? They have fucked right. up long term effects. But, Wait, no, uh, hold on. Steroids are not the same premise. They make you awesome. At all. <laughs> they're um, awesome. Okay, they're not. No, swag. steroids, steroids, are, are, really steroids are different. For you, they just make you look good. The, the steroids are different because the effect, the therapeutic effect you're going for there isn't for anything relating to your health. Yeah. It's just for an aesthetic appearance. So yeah. usually you're making health sacrifices for an aesthetic yes. appearance. For yeah. Ozempic well, or for a weight loss drug. TR2. <laughs> If you were a chatter, I would ban you for that. Well, actually, that's correct. Oh, you smoke if you're low T and you do TRT, that's different. That can be for health um, reasons. But um, I'm trying oh. not to, Vito. You smoke tobacco? You can't say anything about long term effects. <laughs> I'm just asking. I'm not necessarily being critical. Yeah. To be clear, 
I think steroids are probably cool, and I would love to be on steroids. I want to do steroids it. too. It's just I'm already fucking balding, and I don't feel like being a, a fat clans member. So once Dude, I'm the, like the, the the most fucking the most compelling argument for steroids that I've seen is looking at guys who like do their like three year weight progress, and you see like the natural one, and then you insane. see the guy who's on trend, yeah, and it's, it's like retarded. it's like the guy the guy the guy. If I'd never seen someone on steroids, I probably wouldn't care. But because so many people are on gear and you can clearly see it, it's like the so... The difference is unreal. It's so upsetting. And, and especially... Thing, it makes you look awesome, but it really is fucking horrible for you. Like, there's no health yes. benefits from being honest. It's just, it's well, just killing If you're going to do it, bad. you just have to be honest about what you're doing. Like, you just have to be aware that you can do a thing and you can gain some really cool things and there's going to be some health side effects. It's not, like, good or bad. You just have to be aware of, like, what you're risking and what you're trying well, to do. Well, no, no, no. It is yeah, bad because you only gain on. aesthetics it's and not, you only lose health. Yeah, but that's not necessarily a bad thing mm. depending on what you're what? prioritizing in life. Like, if, if, okay, if you sure. cycle on and off some, like, roids or some shit and you've got, like, some going at health or there's, like, other minor health things, but you think that the aesthetic appearance you gain is so great then maybe that's a worthwhile trade for somebody like for, it's yeah, not like if you, you do steroids you you're mind. just gonna die that's why or a lot of people do them sure but yeah, like if yeah. you're just thinking of like life longevity it's a terrible fucking play i mean it also depends on the steroid though i mean there's tests and then there's like trend or terenable like these are these are different so obviously yeah, not, not, not all steroids, steroids are created equal yeah but the people who i've seen who hopped on trend they look absolutely fucking insane and it makes me angry and jealous because the progress they make is just fucking unreal yeah, I would I have gone to try on this new drug called uh, health issues. fentanyl. You guys heard of this? Yeah, I've been doing that for a while. Yeah, I've heard a lot of guys having a lot of success with that. Yeah, it's tested. I mean, for the general public, I don't see any issues. Um, Long-term studies, it seems good. Too mad was into that stuff, so yeah, I mean, it works nice. out. Into what? The uh, <laughs> bro. <laughs> what the fuck is that noise? Oh, go I'm starting a gym soon the... called um called Fent Fitness. I'm putting it right next to Miss Gift's gym. <laughs> The, yo, I feel like the best sell for steroids is like if you're past the age of 50 and you're kind of fucked up, it'll fix you. Yeah, but that's, well, careful, we're not talking about like like steroids for the purpose of muscle Somebody building. Now. You're talking about steroids for the purpose of like shoring up like hormonal imbalances, right? Got Remember, you, this is legal you. medical advice on this stream. I forgot we were live. Holy fuck. <laughs> Hello. My dad we're is live. Uh, Ew. We're live. We're live. Welcome. Ice, why it's every time you late, show up sorry. on the show, you're not like on a real fucking computer? Well, I have uh, somebody cleaning my house right now, so uh -huh. I don't want to be on the computer. Gotcha. Would you mind nudging Action Man? Because he has not joined yet. We have him. Uh, yeah. Was yeah. I mean, I, ta I texted him, but you know, he's probably going to go MIA. Is he, is he the guy who's like a, used to be a heroin addict or something? Yeah. Yes. Okay. I, it was weird because I always thought he was like 14 years old or something, and then I just heard him talking about how he had like a heroin problem. I was like, holy fuck. No, it's just the age of his audience. Yeah, you're right. I got confused. Like, how old is he then? 34. Late 20. Damn! Shit. God damn, I thought he was like mid 20s. Motherfucker, old. Malik, what's going on? Are you all right? Why? Do I look not okay? Didn't he do the you same like, bit um... last time? You did some stupid ass fucking you mean makeup to look, make up for the fact that you're boring. You look like that bitch in the old in the old Batman movie or whatever. That like honestly, I think the makeup in. looks nice. I bet she's a freak in bed. Eyes kill yourself. Thank you. Ima imagine, imagine so I think that's the only time I'll ever bed. agree with you. What you ain't a freak in bed? What? Why do you hate that for? I bet you get crazy ass fucking head with that fucking clown face. You should put on some clown makeup, Paul. I already got the, it on. Call, you should do the, my, do the, the other half. My normal face, buddy. <laughs> yo, yo. We're all clowns here. Malik's I think Malik is uh, muted. Be, uh, Malik, you're muted. About it. Yo, Ice, are you pure-blood Italian? I'm aware muted. Or are you I'm Greek, too? Retarded. I'm a oh. pure-blood Sicilian. Oh, fuck. That's dope. Okay, respect. Is that the, is that the vegan guy who worked out? Yeah. Oh. This is my cat. He's a vegan cat. Dude, I always thought you were a complete moron. <laughs> oh, yeah. He is. He is. Like, bro, imagine well, uh, being a bodybuilder who's a vegan. What kind of fucking dumb shit is that? Well, you can uh, build just as much muscle. There's uh, no downsides. Oh, there's Richard, a I... downside. It's called IBS. No. Irritable bowel syndrome? IBS. Uh, veganism doesn't cause irritable bowel syndrome, so. so. Why do you sound so dead on the inside? 
Well, I've uh, suffered from depression my entire life. Uh, that probably, was a bad, bad question to ask. Um, probably because you're not eating enough meat. <laughs> well, I wasn't born vegan, so... I've never met a happy vegan in my entire life. <laughs> well, okay, I'm just probably gonna haven't met too many vegans. They're like viruses, if you... Why? Hello? Oh my god. <sighs> what happened? We got to move to a new call. We got to move to the live call. Okay. Uh, I gotta. Well, well, anyone can join the other one. Oh. <laughs> I need to rejoin the call. My camera's broken. All right. No problem. Ah. Uh... Can you guys go spam at Action Man to like wake up or get his shit together or some shit? Do something useful. This you know, Richard, the most game. the most shit I've ever gotten online has been for being friends with you because you feed your cat a vegan diet. People say you're abusing. Yeah. Your cat, dude. Oh my god, the amount of fucking retards, dude, who uh, think cats can't be vegan. Pretty hilarious. Well, that's like you can be a lot of things, but a lot of things are bad for you, right? There's nothing um, to support vegan that being a, veganism for a cat is healthier than its normal diet. There is, actually. No, there's not. Um, You're yeah, there is. Thing out of your ass the You're most... cherry-picking some retarded-ass study done no. by one vegan doctor. I don't care. You're muted. So <laughs> the, most, the most recent uh, study on vegan cats shows that they have less health problems in general than uh, meat-eating meat cats. Don't you think that's a pretty small sample size that vegan games? Couldn't that be? Couldn't that be? I don't think it was a small of, sample. Remember there when was, I said cherry picking? It could be that the type of cat owner who would like be conscious enough to feed them the expensive ass vegan shit would also just like send them to the vet. Yeah, and, like, take better have, care of their cats in general because yeah. they need to make up for the fact that they're feeding them a dog shit diet and killing them. So <laughs> what's dog shit about a vegan diet for a cat? You know that the moment your cat ever got outside, it would just eat a fucking mouse anyway. It seems like a waste of time. <laughs> what? Well, Wait, what does that sentence even on. mean? What does Why? that have to do with my hands? <laughs> your cat's not dedicated to the cause. It's a fucking fake. Okay, like, at the, the second you let, like, uh, I don't know, death row inmates out into the public, they'll kill somebody. So should we let them murder people? Yes. Fuck you, vegan Andy. You're a piece are you of comparing shit. your cat to a serial killer? It's yeah. normal for well, a cat they to are. Because the cat wants it's... to eat mice, it's a serial killer? It's a yeah. immoral creature? How, why would you even own it if you think it's innate, like innately an immoral creature? Well, because I can keep it inside, and then when I do bring it outside, I just keep him on a leash. But you just said yourself you think it's immoral. It's a bad thing, right? Because its nature is to eat meat. Destiny, okay. my camera is not you working. Just support me. Being cat food. Your camera Don't you is just working. Like, we spend see your you. whole life trying to fight against people who eat meat, yet you're supporting a creature whose natural instinct is to eat meat? And you think it's a moral I, I don't care so? about its natural instincts. I can feed him a vegan vegan diet. It's a prisoner? Okay. You're kind of like that guy who tucked his sack and sang goodbye horses, and your cat's in the well putting lotion on its skin. Hey, Bo, no, my girl is a, a transgender That's hero. I, won't, I will just, uh, take no slander of Buffalo Bill. Shout out Anthony Hopkins. That bitch should have put the lotion on her fucking skin. So what is this show? What are Take we doing? What are we doing? We're debating. We can, We're waiting uh, for fucking Action Man. It's taking yeah. 10 years. Yeah, I'm not waiting for Action Man? Okay, you guys will be waiting for a couple hours. If... Actually, probably should we, just, should, show. We just say, should we just say fuck him? Yeah, well, do, who do you want me to drag in instead? <laughs> we have natural. Or makes you happy. Queeman? Oh, no, I like, I like She's untouchable. <laughs> Don't fucking make me pick, all right? I got enough shit. It is. I, I like Queeman. Let's do Queeman. All right, Queeman it is. Roll a die. Kelly, the only way Action Man's coming in here is if you have sex with him. Um. He's thinking about it. I can't it. answer this question because if I answer this, it's going to be a negative for <laughs> yep, me either yep. way. Tell, I tell just want Action him to Man. fucking turn up. Tell Action Boy, Man that that wasn't them? a no. That wasn't a no. There's a chance. Just tell him that at least. That might There's work. There's some hope there. That was a long pause. You guys are right. always astronomically down bad. No, just like, you got everyone you're here. You're wearing clown makeup. Who are you talking to? And you're to? bald and fat. 
what? This is my natural state. You chose to be like that. You I fucking did, idiot. and I look better than you. And I'm down bad. And your natural state is nasty, down bad, bald, and fat. That's not no, my that's problem. No, that's not my natural state. It's an that's evolving state. That's not my problem. State. Stay mad. I'm changing Keep myself for the, the drugs, better. You You're changing yourself hard to enough. look like that. Actually, I really like the way you said fat. Can you say that again? State. Can we get a soundbite of you saying fat? All right. Uh, the Ice, fuck have you are you? Are you from? Oh, shut the fuck up, Ice. Are you able to turn your camera on? I want to get the show started. Yeah, I'm just switching over to my desktop. One sec. Okay, thank you very much. You can hear me, right? <laughs> we can hear you. Are you able to turn your camera on? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got you. Okay. Did Slide you in. look over the questions, you guys? You got no one sent us fucking fine. questions. Why would we send questions? them to you? Oh, okay. You're asking them. Oh. <laughs> Some shows they sent them out beforehand, so I didn't know. Not again. Okay. I'm very excited for another exciting edition of Kicker Keep. What a great show. Don't, don't be fucking ironic, you fucking fat little yeah, This, is, but, this is potentially excited. the last one, all right? Can we get This no, is not the last one. This is the beginning of something new. It'll never end. It'll never don't be, end. Uh, cunt. Right, cunt. I will carry it on. If Destiny drops it, I will carry it on. Okay. Okay, can Thank we talk about who's around. hosting? Is Kelly a, a cast member or what? Yes, I am um, the host. I'm the fucking host. So why does she know all the questions? Why has she got a fucking inside? Because because she, I have been having to do everything it. behind the fucking scenes. Don't scene, need you then. yelling, you dumb cunt. I asked you a simple question. I don't need to, but I want to. And I muted you. You got Let a me know when you grow that. Up. Good. And I don't <laughs> Wes, you don't need to worry. It's not like she's going to win anyway. So just <laughs> yell over. You'll be fine. I'm she trying to do like okay. four different jobs at once, all right? You know, and you're getting paid for none. Weasley, exactly. So Q died fighting for the for the holy state. Is that correct? Yes, he's a Hamas fighter. He's a Malta. Yep. Yeah, he, he, he was inside of a he was inside of a preschool. Yeah. <laughs> they thought it was a, a like a base of weapons storage or some shit. Well, well that's like, yeah. the, that's, that's tragic. tragic. Happens. Why is Queeman literally Wilbur said? I'm just realizing. You literally, I heard he was oh. practicing with the parrot color. He had the uh, band on his swag. back, and he smashed into a rock. Is that correct? He was trying to get over the fence into <laughs> into Israel. Something like he, that. He, yeah. he did it wrong. Fuck. Yeah. Splatted against That's the mountain. That's why he's been running the show. He's been saving up to build his own little paraglider. The whole time oh. he's been building his own little paraglider, yeah. and he yeah. fucked it up, and he, and he died. Well, guys, RIP. Oh, wait, I'm not supposed to do that. For, what do you do for Muslims? Rest in piss. Do you sacrifice a four-year-old? I don't know. Okay. You take a diamond pickaxe the to the Mecca. What the fuck are y'all yapping about? <laughs> the Q died, and we're trying to memorialize the man in tra the traditional Muslim he fashion. He hasn't died. What are you talking about? Um... He died fighting for uh, Gaza. Right? Sure. All right, ladies and gentlemen, if ISIS camera turns on, we're going to get the show started. Uh... Tom, are you nervous? Wait, Tom, why aren't you, like... How Why would I be nervous? Do you think you can fill the shoes of Carantos? Tom, yeah, big also, Tom, <laughs> listen, I like how your hair grew out. It looks nice right now. It's cute. Nice. You think Thank you can you, manage you're so and you're right. not just interviewing one dude at a time? Shut the fuck up, dude. You're <laughs> so fucking fat. Why are, are you, you gonna constantly shitting up my fucking throat? Are you going to crumble under pressure? I'm going to crumble under pressure. I'm nervous. Yeah, I'm nervous, dude. Okay, I'm okay. fucking nervous. Okay. I'll stop messing with you. I just smoke crack before the fucking show. No, mess with me. Mess okay, with me. Okay, no, no, no. It's fine. It's fine. All right, Ice Poseidon, thank you very much. Uh, are you are you ready for the show? Are you are you excited? I'm super ecstatic. Wow, could you okay. fix your fucking audio retard? It's horrible. <laughs> he's on his... Oh, wait, he's on his... <laughs> Does it sound like shit? Yeah, yes. it's fine. It's, 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 it's not oh, that look, bad. look who's joined. Why does Ice look like he's in the fucking back rooms? What is this? Is that background? that's what you're looking at? I'm looking at the bleeding guy. Um, he looks like Darius. Kelly, it bothers me that the hosts aren't like first. Just, just. One. Um, I don't. I'm just so scuffed. I, I'm listening to you guys through a tiny speaker. Nice. Change your fucking mic, brother. <laughs> it's so bad, dog. It's like you're on a Nokia. Okay, one sec. Dude. I'm working on it. He's working on it. All right, we're gonna while Ice does that, we're gonna go through and get the show started. Okay. Uh, hello, everyone, and welcome to Kick or Keep, the greatest blood sports debate show on the internet. I'm your new host, Tom. Uh, I'm taking over after Karantos. Yes, as, as we know from Wes's uh, sources in the Gaza Strip, he valiantly died fighting for uh, Palestinian forces. And for that, 
I want to take a moment of silence. Mashallah. Okay, everybody, please. Uh, we're going to go around and say something nice about Karantos here because I know everyone loved him. Everyone's a big fan of him. So before introductions, we're going to go in a row and just say something nice about Q uh, in, in memorial of his life. So we're going to start with Wes. Wes, what's one nice thing you have to say about Q? His skin wasn't that dark. Okay, Vito, what did you think? Dripping questions like, do you think Pokimane's cookies cost too much? I mean, it takes a big mind to come up with something like that. That it does. Uh, Vito, what did you think about Q? I think that was, I think I, that was me. Oh, sorry. Uh, vegan gains, I'm sorry. You're already crumbling, Tom. You're already <laughs> crumbling, bro. Come the ball, Tom! <laughs> Two fucking people in your crumbling. Well, as far as I can tell, he never had sex with a nine-year-old despite being Muslim. Okay, Malik, what did you think about Q? Um, Can you say something nice? Yeah, I thought he uh, did a good show on uh, job host host in the show when he was around. Fuck you. So fucking genius, dude. Queeman, what did you think? Uh, can you say something I mean, nice, positive memory? Yeah, I mean, he showed up to at least half of his days at work this year, so that's impressive, right? Over 50%. Kelly Jean, I know you guys were good friends. You guys had some kind of budding friendship relationship. What do you think? We were not friends. I just wasn't actively a cunt to him. Uh, versus else. every other orbiter that smelt blood and decided to be like... That's, that's a difference. Um, I think he did a better ass? job than... Sure. I think he did okay. a better job than people give him credit for. And he lasted longer than I thought he would. So this is the 30th episode. Okay. I said, oh, were, you ever, were you ever on the show with Q or no? With who? <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry about it. Destiny, one happy memory about Carantos. One happy, hmm. happy thing. You know, uh, I just like the childlike feeling of nostalgia I get whenever I looked at him. I remember Dust 2 from CSGO. <laughs> okay. And <laughs> last, but certainly not least, Gokunaru. Chris, my cousin, what did you think about Q? Uh, everyone always dogged on him for giving really shitty questions and they were right like his questions were awful but i liked that because it forced us to be creative and it usually just ended up with us fucking just yelling about random shit that had nothing to do with the question so basically i liked that he was like an absent counselor basically he didn't okay. know what the fuck he was doing there you go well i assume everybody knows who all of you are you've all been on this show before everybody I don't know who any of you. these people are you don't know who any Excuse of them are me you fuck well you know who i am. i know kelly titty over here but that's it and the vegan guy I know we. No, I know West too. He's, well, he's donated a lot. This is Apparently, the Weast <laughs> guy. The, the Weast guy that's like the the bread tuber, right? Yeah, that's him. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, uh, so. uh, well, well. Apparently, introductions are in order. Then apparently, we need everyone on the show to know who the fuck they're dealing with. So you know what? We'll start with West once again. West, introduce yourself to the audience and make it quick. Hey, it's me. You know who I am. Good luck. Vito. Two-time winner, four-time finalist. Ready to go, ready to ready to dominate. Exciting. All right, Vegan Gains, can you introduce yourself to the audience? I am the one and only Vegan Gains, the proud owner of two very good vegan kitties, and uh, I think you all know me by now. Wait, okay. is this too personal, or do you or do you have the dogs anymore? No. Yeah, I got the dogs too. Why don't you announce you have dogs? Well, the vegan cat thing is more important right now. Okay, I just think it's kind of shitty. You just like completely left them out, but okay. All right. All right, Malik. Hi, I'm Malik underscore zero four, previous winner of the show, Kick or Keep. You know, gonna have fun and not be an incel like the rest of the cast members today. Oh, gotcha. Crazy. You're not gonna be an incel. You Thank literally you look much. like a female incel. You live in a Thank log cabin with a joker face. Queeman, who the fuck are you? Uh, yeah. Okay. All right. Enough. 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 Queeman. I, who the fuck I don't are know you? how you stream for a living. Your mic still sounds like that. How do you Shut the fuck up. Nice Shut the fuck. That's a good question. Shut that the fuck question. up. I will fucking I mute you. You fat shit. Make, it should make you look bad. I stream like this and still get viewers. Carantos, by the way, stop acting like him. Um, Queeman, who are you? Uh, yeah. Uh, Queeman. Queeman on YouTube. White boy rights advocate. Uh, small streamer. Just have fun, really. Yeah. Okay, uh, Kelly Jean, you seem pissed off. How are you? Ugh. Who are you? This is just my default expression and state of mind, but sure. Do I need to introduce myself? Is that necessary? No, you need Who to leave. Uh, sure, Wes, after you. 
Okay. Uh, I said, who Let's are have you? a little bit of fun, guys. Come on. Hey, let's kick or keep here with Turkey <laughs> Tom. Morale is so fucking low. Holy shit. All you fucking incels. All you fucking. Let's just come on. Have a good time. I just decided, who, who are you? Why should people care about you? What do you do? Uh, I, I'm nobody. Don't worry about it. But every girl on this panel wants to have sex with me. Brilliant. Okay. Uh, Destiny, thank you very much for being here. I think everyone watching knows who you are, but thank you very much for being here. Thanks for having and, me. Uh, you're welcome. You're welcome. Go Kanaru, who are you? Where can people find you? Yeah, uh, I'm a YouTuber, Go Kanaru. I'm known for the Sneeko video I made. And uh, I'm probably known because uh, I won one of the past kicker keeps. Uh, it was uh, a narrow victory with Johnny Somali. He fucked me up good. Thankfully, since I got the money, I went to the hospital. But the day that I came out of the hospital, I didn't fucking hear what was going on. There was a solar eclipse. The sky fucking turned black, and I was just staring directly at it. I thought that the gods were coming, and so now I'm, uh, I'm, I'm okay. Just letting you know, but I, uh, I am going in blind. So you guys are talking about some girl with clown makeup. I, I'm just picturing uh, like a hot Harley Quinn right now. I don't know. You, you tell don't me. Don't worry. It's uh, just yeah. Kelly Jean. Okay, I don't know who what that is, but okay, thank you, Weast. <laughs> Very funny was. That was a good. Call. All right. Well, the way this show works, for those who don't know, uh, in the cast and the audience, it's a debate show. Every round, I will have a new question I'll pose to the audience. You guys will debate. I'd push the talk uh, on. I'm stupid. Yes. Thank you. Uh, I, I was saying, wow, that's so funny. This guy's pretending to be blind. Hilarious. <laughs> yes, sir. Uh, okay. Every you every round. A bit. Ice. Come on. You're pretending to be likable. Uh, I'm not He's pretending. pretending. Don't worry. Uh, <laughs> Alright, I just I, I just gotta get through explaining the show and you guys can fucking rape each other, okay? Ice, you can, you know, sexually harass whoever you want on the call, okay? Don't worry about it. Okay, every oh, show... You, Turkey Tom. you better watch yourself. I'm excited, bro. Every, every, every round... Every round, there will be a question, okay? Based on that question, you guys will debate. At the end of the round, there will be a straw poll for the audience. The audience will vote who won. The person who won that round will vote between the bottom two people, and they can choose who to vote off the show. We'll repeat this every round until the end. Winner gets the $100,000 grand prize from Destiny, so you guys can be very excited for $100, that. $100,000! $100,000. Uh, wow. Bitcoin, Bitcoin, Bitcoin only, so have your wallet. Wait, 100000 if we win this? Yeah, yeah, Ice, aren't you excited? Oh, shit, hold on. Let me, let me hit up my Discord. Bit, Bitcoin only. You need to have your wallet address ready. Uh, what? Well, um, Hundred thousand. I think yeah. Kelly and Turkey are both contributing <laughs> half to that prize pool, right? Yes, we are, and I've already sent it to you, which means you have the money, which means you're ready to send it to whoever's wallet address is needed. Uh, so, with that being said, we're going to get to the first question. Okay, the first question. Obviously, there's a lot of political tensions right now. So, the first question we have is: Should someone's religious or political views uh, affect your decision to work with them or work for them if the work is disconnected from the ideology? What do you guys think? I'm wondering, is CX Coin sponsoring this uh, this event? Yeah, it is. But if you win, you're not allowed to get anything. Fuck. All right. It's okay. Right. You're not gonna win. Though. I'm not gonna win. You're right. Nobody knows who you are. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So yeah, I mean, if a religion, okay, so your religion, if you work at the fucking place and it doesn't interfere, yeah, who gives a fuck? Whatever. If you're good at your job, you're good at your job. It doesn't matter. It's fascinating. What are these political Tom, questions? I don't even know what you asked. What did What did you even ask? Well, do you like? I do you the question like really depends on the religion. If you, if you found out really that bad. a co-worker or someone, a, a fellow employee was of a certain religion, would that influence your desire to work with them? For instance, would you maybe leave an organization? I forgot all you guys are fucking working with people. <laughs> you don't believe no, why, why would I Nobody give a fuck should. if someone has a religion? I don't even, why the fuck do I care? What if well, you're running, I... wait, wait, wait. What if you're running a daycare with a Muslim? Not very safe, is it? What? Why not? <laughs> it, it depends on their specific set of religious well, beliefs or political daycare, beliefs. Uh, no, 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 no. Like They're going to blow the kids. Like it's being boring. Muslim in and of itself children? doesn't... The default is the bombing rather than the child molestation. That's fine. Yeah, like being Muslim in and of itself isn't really a problem. But if you're literally like a terror supporter like that NHS doctor who is on Pierce Morgan, um, the Jewish yeah, one? I wouldn't want to work with that guy. I would be worried to be around you with my kids, Wes. I think you eat all their food and they'll starve to death. <laughs> DoorDash exists, baby. I'll take care of them. Don't worry. Here, well, okay, wait. Let's add in a little bit to this, okay? So obviously there are big things that are going on in the world right now between Ukraine and Russia, between Israel and Palestine. A lot of people are demanding statements being made by streamers. Like, do you support Palestine? Do you support... Yeah, it's fucking Palestine, right? Do you think that, like, 
should that's people be stupid. cutting ties with people based on their stances on these types of conflicts? Or would you stop working with oh, somebody yeah, where absolutely. you saw somebody tweeting out in favor of Iran attacking Israel or Israel attacking Gaza? Would you stop working with people who would say, oh, yeah, dude, problem. anybody who's like a Hassan fan, fuck them. Like, no, 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 no. if they Very need to be gross. fired, they need to be thrown in jail. Question. In my mind, it's already like the default that you should assume any online entertainer is a fucking idiot. So like, if you actually take it, them that seriously, and that they, you think that they need to like, you know, condemn X or whatever. Like, I don't really know that it matters at all. It's just like you're just wanting them to pass some kind of social fucking check. You know what I mean? It's like, all right, it's not. If gonna you reject affect, you know? everyone that has opposing views than you, you're just gonna burn every bridge with every content creator and end up in an echo chamber just like Destiny. There's no point. <laughs> that then you'll never. You'll never hear opposing views. You'll never have any sort of discourse. You'll just be. But there can off be the opposing views. Over. What do you mean discourse with somebody if, like Hassan? If, if somebody like Hassan who supports the October seventh attack. What what fucking discourse? Fuck people like that. Okay. Okay. But you you support all the retaliation, right? This is hard because uh, who here has had a normal job? <laughs> Are we talking about a workplace oh, scenario? All yeah. right, good. So let's say, you know, I would say some people have certain beliefs that if I'm trying to run an organization and they hold these beliefs, I would go, well, that's uh, against the spirit of what this company stands for. And frankly, I think it's going to influence your ability to do your work. A good example is we see a lot of people who come into organizations, they belong to what seems to me like a religion where they believe very strongly in certain social justice views and they come in and they want you to learn their pronouns, whatever else. And if somebody came to me and they said, I want to work in your organization, I'd say, I just don't think it's a good culture fit. Yeah, I think now, it's... Yeah, go on, go on, go on. Well, I was going to say there's the problem that, you know, religious beliefs are, you know, covered as protected traits in terms of employment. You can't outright say, you know, I'm not going to hire people of a certain persuasion, but... You know, I could see there being, especially now, people who, I, I don't know, I, I think of some of these social movements as religious beliefs, where I go... Wait, wait, but should you be able to fire, should you be able to fire somebody for beliefs or things that they express off the clock? Yes. Yeah. Really? Yeah. Interesting. Interesting. Absolutely. Like, if like, they like, represent it your depends, company... It depends how Hold on, wait, 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 let's talk about levels of because you guys are saying, like, represent your company. What if they're yeah. just, like, like an employee at McDonald's or an employee at Amazon, no. like, at a warehouse or whatever? Should you be, no, like, let's say that you... It can still be connected back to you, though, Destiny. Like, you know, here's the most extreme example. I run an ice cream store. We sell ice cream. Everybody loves ice cream. And my employees... So, is great wait, at, so, so, so you're okay for getting fired for saying, like, fag on Twitter? Is that what you're saying, Vito? You're fine I'm saying, what if he goes to the slur, they can get fired. That's totally fine. You're, you're okay with that. Why well, should you have to give money to a scumbag? I think you have like, a right like, to fire him. I think as right, long I, as okay, you, so you do right. yeah, your fucking job, your religious beliefs don't matter. I think yeah. personality traits are way more important my, than beliefs. I didn't get to finish my example. <laughs> 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 wait, 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 wait. wait, wait, wait. <laughs> religious <laughs> beliefs is crazy, honestly, dude. Bullshit. Whoa, one at a time. Hey, wait, wait, chill. One at a time. Vegan, Vito, go. Well, yeah, I wanted religious to get the most extreme I'm sorry, I needed the extra <laughs> word. Vegan when Vito. I said that, I said vegan, I meant vegan, then Vito, go. Okay. Yeah, religious beliefs absolutely matter. So like just being Christian or just being Muslim isn't a problem of itself. But when you look at like certain details about somebody's religious beliefs, like if you employ a Muslim who unironically uh, is apologetic to like raping nine-year-olds uh, with the excuse that oh well the prophet Muhammad did it I think like having sex with nine-year-old children is fine I, I think, like why Islamophobic. would you want to employ somebody like that Has it, anyone it's ever insane. done that? I've never heard someone say that There are plenty of Muslim apologists do not like, rape like Muhammad children. Hijab so Okay wait wait wait, no, wait, 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 wait. let let vegan Okay then Vito you can there do your are point plenty, on the There are plenty of Muslim apologists like uh, Muhammad Hijab like most of them on this fucking platform are in support of child marriages where children can be as young as like five or six years old and they think it's fine to uh, consummate the marriage. Like Daniel Hakikajo, he just had a, a fucking debate where he, where he admitted that there's literally no age where it would be inappropriate to have sex with a child bride, even you're a just, baby. Wait, hold on, you're just so name dropping why the hell would you political want, commentators into that why, the real Why world. the hell, well, well, these people exist. Like so why the hell would you have people. to employ somebody like that? If you have a scumbag in your organization, I, like I don't want to give that person money, what are you, like, like just on a, uh, just if on parental. Is a criminal. You don't need obviously, me, you're not going you to employ Muslims a criminal. I'm not and talking about would criminal. Be a criminal. I, I'm not talking about. To do you're with... racist, dude. No, <laughs> you eat human. you're That's just fucking is, retarded. You yes. eat black people, don't you? The coin in the chat, boys. <laughs> yeah, I, yeah, I hate that. Right now, right now. Dog, but you, this dude eats fucking black people. He's auto cannibalistic. He eats his own kind. 
Look, okay, if you're gonna if you're gonna fucking have a job where you're interacting with kids and like you have some sus shit, I can understand that. If you're and maybe if we're talking what Destiny said, which is like you're a fucking a commentator on the internet, do you want to not associate with someone who says shit that's out of cat like out of league or whatever? Yeah, okay, I get that because if it, if you're dealing with like a conscious political actor, like I remember Destiny when he was talking to Fuentes, like I don't know that Fuentes was actually trying to you know have a conversation. He was actually I think trying to like advertise his fucking ideas in like this weird way. You know what I mean? So I do get like the idea of you don't want to just you don't want to uh, act with like someone who you feel is like a bad actor like doing a net negative and you're just like giving them w more than they're fucking gonna give you ever um but yeah i think that in terms of like employment bro like uh it's definitely like an anti-free speech kind of stance a little bit uh again kids aside it's like uh as long as it's not affecting your job and right it's would you violation. employ daniel hikika joe who thinks it's okay to rape children in forced child marriages but that's just saying, would you hire a background check? Would you hire any child molester? Absolutely. I'm not saying he's a child molester. I'm saying ideologically, he believes that. He's ideologically a child Okay, hold on. Wait. Shouldn't we? Shouldn't we? Shouldn't we? So in the in the United States, okay. Isn't part of how this works is that we get a bunch of people that disagree on a lot of issues, sometimes fundamental ones, but we all somehow manage yes. to like work and live together. Aren't you not worried about enforcing like this strict ideological conformity even in workplaces? So for instance, for vegan gains, you're yeah. you seem to have a strong position on this. I'm sure there's a lot of Americans in the United States, depending on where you go, that would be like, Oh yeah, like we don't hire vegans. Fuck that. Like wouldn't that be horrible if you were a vegan living in some place and people were like, We're not hiring you because we believe in eating meat and you guys are weird? I would never hire a yeah, I mean, That is not comparable to something okay, like, yeah. again, somebody who believes in some sort of Islamic prophecy well, about killing Jews. They abuse Jews children and you fucking... abuse your fucking animals, so it's really not that no, far off. No, no, I don't. Yeah, Sorry. How are my animals your being abused? How are my animals being abused? More rodents are they being How are they being abused? Show me the data. Show me the data. Guys, 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 calm the fuck down. animals. Stop, stop. Okay, Malik, can you get your point in? Because you haven't really been able to talk. Let's stay on topic, guys. Oh, I just said, in regards to killing, if you're going to talk about being vegan, the amount of rodents that die just so you can eat enough vegetables and get enough protein from oh your body to you're vegan diet, oh, you okay, okay, great, one great. Uh, so, this is why so, we should so, be eating so, bugs. Rodents this when this is great. We should be eating fucking bugs. bugs. Okay, so why stupid. Just say you're Islamophobic. So stupid. Malik, Malik, Malik. Can we get some bug emojis Guys, guys, stop. Okay, shut the fuck up. Malik and Vegan gains. Have you have your little beef, yeah. Okay? Everybody's so fucking Malik, jumping in. can cancer. you show me the data that more rodents die in a farm field versus in the wild? Are you retarded? The <laughs> amount of pesticides. Oh, okay. So you the don't amount of pesticides and fences in the study where <laughs> more rodents die in and insects, like insects are animals too. Like it's okay. okay to kill okay. all carnivorous carnivor animals because you stated that in several occasions. I think. Yeah. So, so Malik, do you have any I data have indicating problem. that vegans are killing more animals than would otherwise die in the wild? I have no data that I can state. Oh, okay. Then shut the fuck up. Then shut the fuck up. Maybe you should turn your head around and just show your clown face. You sound vegan phobic. The difference right now, between you and everyone you else vegan. is that you will it find points. Let me go, let me go. Every single vegan I've ever right. met in my life let is me go. We're, we're gonna let less, we're, we're, I'm we're, in the we're, kitchen! We're gonna, we're gonna the only difference, go. vegan, cool. is Every that you will find a point. veganism, whether it's started hey, that way Let West go, let West go, let West go, go ahead. Vegan, you will find a point that you believe in, and you're muted. Billy, shut up! You will find points that you agree with, and then you will spend time finding a single study to back your beliefs, and then when someone that doesn't care this much to look up data on every single point they fucking have about morality when it comes to veganism, you say, where's your data? Where's your data? And then to fucking combat it, you bring up one bullshit study by, done you by one vegan it's, doctor. It's a problem a when, you, when you form victory. an argument that hinges on the idea that more animals are dying in crop fields than in the wild, no, and I you don't have any evidence is, to support that whatsoever. There is evidence. You is think that might that be a problem? Just because, don't just because I can't like cite a source doesn't Malik, mean you're you're such a data just a genuine oh, question. We should Can just assume you're question? right. Okay, we, we, well, let's just assume everything you say right. is correct. Wait, okay. go, 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 go Canaro has a question for what the What is going on? Vegan games, my bad. I'm just curious. What is your genuine, honest-to-God opinion about a pure bug diet? Um, not a good idea. So insects are sentient, well, at least some of them. Though, ethically, as well. Yeah. So it, at least some insects are sentient, uh, I would imagine, or at least the evidence supports that. 
So I'm not in favor of killing insects. On top of that, uh, for human health, um, um, is every round going to be the vegan round? Or they're just kind of yes, yeah. yes, yeah. yes. Yeah. Every show, yes. I'm here. Every, every round show. is going to be the vegan every round. Every round is the vegan round. Everyone, Everyone hates a vegan. Why are you streaming in your? Back? Well, here's my question. Uh, okay, so let's let's get back to the topic. We all hate vegan gains because he's torturing Ellie. animals. What? Let's say we have Why are you streaming a... in your bathroom. Oh my god. Let's say we have a business I'm that's a all about bitch. selling, you know, pet supplies. Should we be I'm able to kidding. fire vegan gains who has created controversy with his controversial vegan uh, views? Yes, because I would he's say yes. your business. As the owner of the pet store, I even though it's his free speech right to preach this vegan diet, yeah. I would say it's my free speech right to not associate with it. Yeah, but at that point, yeah, aren't you, you guys, like you guys, wait, wait, hold on, wait, wait, let me push, wait, wait, let me, wait, wait, let me push on a little bit. Wait, when did you, would you, yeah, is yes. this where we are? No, that's yeah. not what anybody's talking about. But, so Vito, aren't, in that case, aren't you enforcing basically and giving way more power to the concept of cancel culture? If you're saying that I mean, business owners are going to make decisions to get rid of employees that hurt their business, can't you just say, okay, well, let's just keep canceling employees and we know they're going to get fired no matter what? But the implication I mean, is not that they're not like telling customers, like, don't eat this meat product we're selling. He's just doing it in his off time, right? Is that the scenario? Well, in there's his plenty off time, of he's things going... that I've said. Well, like, like I'll but agree with you a, a little point. bit here. Hold on, Hold vegan. On. I'll, I'll make your point that you made and I'll make it simpler, okay? You hire a guy to work at your ice cream shop, you sell ice cream to the community, and on the weekends, that guy goes to the park and he holds up a big sign that says, let's lower the age of consent. And all of a sudden, people go, you know what? I really just don't want to buy ice cream from the place that has that pedophile working right, there. Right, but that's kids. I feel like kids is its, its own category well, of but, like, but, in, but we're yeah. agreeing. Let's say it's uh, the most so extreme. Not. If that's, that's the so most not. extreme example that we at least agree that there is scenarios in which someone's yeah. perfectly legal free speech does mean something that, listen, you're allowed to say it, but it is not employable in me as the employer. I do not want to be shackled to you. Be gone and, and take it elsewhere. So I think you that. have to, well, well, like, hold on. I, I would push against that. I think you have to take a maximalist view here, uh, one way or the other. I think if the guy really? wants to say shit, if he's not on the clock, then fuck it. Then he can say whatever the fuck what crazy shit he wants. Profits? What? what it I, shouldn't, though. It shouldn't. Have, when people go to your store, you should say, listen, this guy doesn't represent our fucking viewpoint. I'm not going to go and audit every single fucking no, employee. He's looking at my whoa, whoa, whoa. fucking Yeah, he's not doing He's not saying this on the clock. He's not doing this while he's. Well, wait, wait. If you're actually a good business owner, listen. The amount of money that the business is making. You guys are hyper fixated. You guys are hyper fixated on the money, but what you need to keep in mind, if you're actually a good business owner, you're more focused on the customer experience you know what i mean so yeah that's if, bullshit. if you have, that all goes no, back to money that's no, not true no, 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 that's not true no, that is true that is true this this is America, America, it's it's about this. think about this it's think about this think about this if the customer it's experience is that this fucking guy who is like allegedly a pedophile seemingly is like talking to kids in some weird way and then the parent correlates like oh fuck that's that guy that was at the park well then now suddenly the customer experience is what the fuck my kids then fire them for talking to kids in a weird way it was kids just consume the product my kids just consume the product from a fucking weirdo you know what I mean? Look, there's there's no, no, there's the there's question was about political views and religion, not if someone's a criminal or not. Well, that's a yeah. political well, there are religious yeah. and political yeah. views. Yeah. Hold yeah. up. Stop, stop. You we are, are at the bitch. end of round one. We are at the end of round one. Good Thank job. God. You guys Those have made it. We are. Uh, I'm throwing the poll in chat. Vote for who you want to keep, not kick. I close these in... Uh, in in one minute, so vote hard, vote with your you guys soul. Are arguing vote. Ten minutes yeah. about fucking veganism, like who gives bug, a fuck? Bug emojis in the chat. Yeah. Uh, if you don't wrangle vegan gains, that's where every. What do you want to talk about? Vote to keep. By oh, the way, I'm not even the one who brought up veganism. Malik is the one who brought up veganism. I mean, Kelly's got some big titties. Yeah. You want to talk about them? What do you think about them fucking juggers? Really? Brilliant. Big old full milk bags. Kelly, I would absolutely annihilate your entire body. Damn, son. Right. Would you let me watch, Paul? No. Why would I want you to watch? I think I might like. I could like gas you up. I could be a good coach. Yeah, can, All right, hold up. We're coming to, to the end. Like, All right, I'm listen. Ice, ice, myself? ice has won the round. Ice, you have to wow. choose to kick off that either awesome. Malik or Quayman or Quayman. Sorry. Be in this intelligent. Who do yeah. I want to kick? Who? What? The Malik and Queeman. Malik suit. and Queeman. One or the other. Who's Queeman? Well, oh, that guy, the fucking one. Kick Malik. She's dude. pretty uh, nice, yes. man. I, I, I'm going to kick that dude because he ain't a girl. What? No, 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 no. I catch you. Yeah. Oh. Brilliant. Queeman, Queeman shout yourself out. Shout yourself out. Where can people Qu find you? Qu Queeman on YouTube, Queeman on Twitter, discord.gg slash Queeman. Thanks for, thanks for having me on. I was rooting for you, man. Thanks for coming. It's all right. It was a good time. It was a good time. You owe me, okay?
Uh, All right. Recurring <laughs> sexual you favors. Me, you you got to kick Joe. these bitches. Right, I was like, we can't get only work. two women. 10,000 witnesses to coerce. Ladies and gentlemen, we have reached the end of round one, which means round two. Tensions are very high with you guys, okay? I know that, listen, I actually didn't find that last question very interesting. So we're going to give you, we're going to get one just for you, okay? This will really, wait. this will tickle your fucking ass. No, hold on. Wait, no, no, wait. I think it was no, interesting. Wait, no, on. no, wait. I want to hear up. more. Hold on. No, because Shut a lot of you guys, up. a lot of you guys, especially Vito, you guys are here doing the free speech thing all fucking day. But it sounds like you guys would be okay in a society where essentially your boss can audit your political beliefs to Not the max that. and then fire you if they don't like things they see, if they think it'll hurt business. How, how is that? Circle, isn't that creating the worst possible world? That's that's also like it's just, uh, it's just over. how it's got to be. I mean, what do you what else are you going to do? That you have a culture. I class. think what you have to do is you have to have a stronger culture where you tell people like, listen, if you don't like my employees, think, then fuck you. Like, that's yeah, just we're not going to fire people based on what they do off the clock. Dude, you're going to you're going to need the danger, 50 years. I would only hire big, hire big titty 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 women that look really good. Well, there there are. Fuck it. OK, Tom, do your next. Fuck it. Do your next one, Tom. Fuck it. OK, OK. The question, not political. It's really simple. OK, everybody listening. Who deserves to be here the least and why? <laughs> Malik, she has like just... no interesting opinions, knows nothing about anything. She'll bring up veganism and then complain about me talking about veganism. And her arguments are fucking stupid and she has no evidence to support her claims. Uh, I think Malik, vegan game hands down. Because yeah. he's fucking annoying. He shouldn't be here because he's a known dog and cat okay. murderer. I'm gonna say Ice Poseidon um, because he was fucking late. He's got a shit fucking dog ass mic, and he's fucking uh, not got anything interesting to say. That's all I got. Oh yeah, because the topic we were talking about was so interesting. Well then, fuck, bring it, carry the conversation. What you got? Come on. You don't even want to show your face, buddy. You're scared. Take hey, that fucking buddy, mask off. I ain't fucking scared. Look, I'll fucking take the mask off. You think? No, I'm he's around? doing a bit. Don't ruin. You the think bit. I'm fucking oh, around? Oh. Oh my god! Ew. Stop! Oh, stop! Fuck. Oh fuck. my god! Fuck! Okay, okay, once, okay. Ah, oh, fuck. Okay. I fuck. like the theatrics of this. I didn't know we were putting in this much effort. Fuck. I know. I didn't know we could do characters. Oh. It's not funny. I mean, just take the fucking right. mask off. It's we got a guy with bandages. You think it's fucking fake? You fucking asshole. That we got a Joker <laughs> slut type I'm... character, kind of spooky. I got the fuck. I got the Wait, I got a better question. Why do you deserve to be here? Joker is slut. Oh, uh, crazy. Yeah. Oh, did you know everybody even doing? give their opinion? Did we even get no, through like more than two people? What? I'm here well, for 100K. I mean, apparently. You know. Let's My bad. I'm a woman on the internet. I forgot. I forgot. Are you not a slut? I thought you were. You know, empowered women like that sort of thing. No, like, you know, I'm I, a slut. I, I, you know? I don't associate with with the terminology. The whore. sluttishness. Do you uh do you disapprove of uh, slutty women? Um, I mean, teach their own, but I would never go down. Well, the then why path. do you why are you worried about them? I meant it as a term of endearment. It sounds like you're offended. Well, why is every offended? show there's like multiple people that are every show? Why? Like, well, <laughs> why every time? Why do you have to sit here and hey? I, we get it. You have a vagina too. Get off of her fucking pussy, you cringe fuck. Yo, you guys Let are her fucking, fight your own battle. You guys are distracting there. from the fact that Ice Poseidon has brought no fucking content. The answer white. is nobody else content? other than me deserves to be here. I'm the one that put everything fucking you know together. If it wasn't for me, you would be on the I'm the only streets. one who should even be here Turkey because Tom. all of you oh, yeah. support yeah, yeah. animal abuse with oh. your food choices. Wait, Kelly. I want to thank Tom for Kelly. knocking it out of the park. Kelly. What? Do you find me attractive? Oh this is the second time I've been bullied into these types of questions, <laughs> and there's no fifth win joke. or there's no win scenario for me. Just, so it's fifth time saying the same joke. Wait, just give me like a one on. out of ten. No, no. Do it. Why not? No. What? Fuck Wait, off. What am I like a twelve out of ten? Kill me. Oh, You're I get it. You have someone 10. watching that you want that you like, but that's no. a better option. So you don't want to be honest. Neither of these things are true. <sighs> Jesus. Fucking, what was the question? All right, just oh, answer me this, though. Do you shave your armpits? Who else doesn't deserve to be here? Why are you flustered, Kelly? Yeah. I'm not flustered. I'm trying Yo, to, like, I... not have the subject be talking about my tits or rating people, you silly I see um, Don't take this personally, you know, but I, mean, I would you... say it's a, it's a three-way tie between um, mm. Vito, Wes, and Kelly mm. because... Honestly, my eyes are kind of dry. Yeah. Hold on, oh, hold Kelly. You fucking throw me under you... the bus. Brutus. Okay, I'll take out Kelly, but but all of y'all just blend in with your background. Um, and the contrast really isn't going easy on my eyes. I'm sorry we don't live in a fucking shed. Well, Ugh. like Vito specifically, I can't tell the difference between his shirt and the shelves behind him. 
Malik looked oh, like you got a hairy snatch. <laughs> but there's orange behind you too. All right. So that, that didn't. She really kind of does. To be honest with you, God. I can't really argue. Is that what I have to look forward to? Holy shit! <laughs> what the fuck? Wait, I, I oh didn't ask to see your. God. I is that really better? What did, what did we that? just miss? What did I see? What the fuck? What oh, happened? Oh fuck! The fuck happened? Rough. Okay, oh, I think God. I know who's going to do this. Why are you, why are you the same I feel like I'm looking into my future, man. No, he has more hair. Guys, I feel like you're looking at yourself is, right now. Is Ice What balding? are we going to do about Israel? What? Wait, Ice, are you balding? Big problem. Am I balding? Tom, why do you deserve yeah. to be here? Oh, why? You're a fucking no, I, I cringe confused. YouTube what, interviewer. What are they why the fuck about? do you get deserve to be the co-host? I honestly don't. There's no particular reason. That's right. I got chosen. Learn your I got chosen. But you can't kick me out, can you? I could if I wanted to. He does have a good oh, yeah? commentary. Wait, Tom, do you have, Tom, do you have admin powers on the server? Yeah, I do. Uh, Listen, uh, if you no, think weeks. somebody's out of line, you can always right-click them and server John, mute them. Weeks. And that weeks. makes weeks. Weeks. so they cannot Tom communicate. Tom. They can't talk Destiny on the show. Destiny entered okay? new fucking rules into Don't this game. Don't do this. Dumb. John, I feel like insult, running insulting fucking the host well. is not out of line. That's funny. The second you mute someone, the second you lose all credibility. Um... You gotta be able to control maybe it with some your people are just presence. maybe maybe some people are not worth listening to. Have you thought about that, Wes? That's facts. Ooh. Ice Besides no. is one of them. No, no, you, you brought everyone on the show. I think we Therefore, you think that. everyone on the show should be worth listening to. Over thirty words to say nothing, they get for me. It's, it's no, nothing personal. Like, it's just business, bro. I'm just attacking the, the top dog. You know what I mean? What's the real problem is we would love to have someone more famous. Destroy your entire life. Okay, okay, all right. God bless. All right, you don't have to. Hey, Ice Poseidon, I'm coming at you. I think you're gay. I think this is the worst topic ever on Kickstarter. Yeah, I'm a fat retard, but I don't suck nearly as many cocks as you do. You little. Oh, these are the most. I actually eat another hog, buddy. Hey, Ice Poseidon, goat dude. I'm gonna fuck your mom. Yeah, you wish you could fuck my mom. I already did, buddy. You are not. Hmm. What cool. what the fuck what the fuck is the beef between Gokunaru Gokunaru why, why don't you like Ice Poseidon? I think Ice Poseidon's ruining this shit. No no, no I was explaining I was explaining it's just a you know this is like you're uh, shirtless just... nobody wants to see that put on a motherfucking oh, shirt. Oh that's what well, that's what it was was it Weast Weast is I just want folds? you to be funny can you be funny? Yeah that's I, I what honestly I'm too. All right, sorry it, 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 it added video. to his Thank personality. You. Thank you Ice I appreciate that. Let's 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 stick to the jokes. Yeah, Ice Let's was dogging on my uh, Ice was dogging on my business sense, so I had to, you know. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. Every single one of you guys in here is a literal fucking retard, except for me. Cool. We're Why is that? Ice, Why is that? Your whole you guys are sitting of here pretending retarded. to give a fuck about any of these arguments that Destiny's I, giving you. I agree with him. Trying talk about Paul? to win the Didn't show. Did you get arrested for twerking in front of some fuck? fucking yo, yo, oh, I'm actually, What's yes. actually happening is you're Ice, fucking projecting you. because you are a sociopathic nihilist who cares about nothing but yourself and making money. So you're projecting that into other people because you don't give a fuck about anything. You scammed your own fucking fans. You don't give a shit. You don't give a shit about literally anything. Other being than yourself a, and making money. I vote for Turkey Thomas, right? This is a good way to live. Based Destiny. on what? Okay, oh, then don't, don't, pro don't project do your life motivation. Wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's change the question. Turkey Tom, dude. That's the stupidest fucking name. Ever. My name is Turkey Tom, some and some I flew to Austin just to see you get your ass kicked by Brandon Buckingham, and you got destroyed, All right. and it was epic. Congratulations. Was you also flew to Austin to do acid with Glink, and then you had a bad trip and sucked his cock. What I love about this show is <laughs> I have never done acid, and discussion. I did not do acid with Glink, but that'll be I really love funny. it. Goddamn. Yeah. Uh, wait up. Uh, what, Tom? You were. Do, do, you, do you not like there. Glink? What's your, uh, what's your beef with Glink? No, I'm friends with Glink. Glink's oh. a good guy. Glink's a good guy. So I guess he just he just told you about that Yo, little private interaction, huh? <laughs> what? He told you all about that. No, he sucked Glink's cock, and then Glink was like, damn, that it wasn't as good as Tom. That's clearly what happened. Wait, Tom, Tom we hung guys? out for so long, and you never offered to suck me off. What the fuck? You didn't offer to suck him off, Destiny? Well, no, he didn't offer to suck it, me off. I didn't know he was... I, I have LSD. My LSD is probably dicks. way better than his, too. What the fuck? It's, it's kind of hard to get your cock in my mouth when mine was already eight inches deep in yours. Yeah, you oh. wish. Yeah, maybe when you were wow. sleeping. Really that's some crazy, right. that's some crazy that's lucid dreaming. I don't even know if I would suck you off in your dreams, Tom. Nice try, Talking though. About gay shit. You twink fuck. Dude, your mustache was tickling my nutsack like crazy. It was Destiny, you realize like it's so yeah, obvious I'm when you're nagging someone friend, that you're sexually attracted to? Yeah, is that why I nag you all the time? My little yeah, chubby, my little you, chubby you Pillsbury Doughboy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah. I did catch Turkey Tom and Bo Blacks in the bathroom together at the same time, but they would—they're you know, all like, "Ooh, nothing's going on." But I don't know. 
I would never enter any fucking yourself. room with a, with a man known as Bo Blacks. I would never do that. <laughs> Why? Well, he has because the word black in his name and you're a known you, racist. No, because if you're sharing no. a room with him, it means you're probably in some special education disabled facility, and it's already blue. <laughs> it's because you. if you've ever looked okay. directly into Bo Blacks' eyes in real life, it's like uh, it's a transcendental experience. Basically, he puts the real yourself. problem is anytime I've been around him, he takes his fucking feet out, and I can't deal with oh, that. Oh, bro, no. Oh, dogs. Wait, does he does he wear Sonic shoes? What's like the feet thing? I don't get it. No, he just he just he likes to let his fucking fungus feet breathe, so he always takes okay. them out any interaction. And I can't, oh, I just can't do. I don't, I don't. Feet are like an unsettling thing to me. Why do we need to it. know this, Tom? Why are you talking about fungus feet? Jesus Christ! Talking about yeah. blacks. Why, why are you fucking pissed off? Why? Let's bring it back. Kelly, what do you want to talk about? All you're doing is being negative. Kelly, give us a topic. Feet. Kelly, you're complaining about you everybody. Got, give us a topic. You've veganism, been sent an veganism. entire document of. Then Kelly's read one off. Read one. Bit. Go ahead. Kelly's Look, entire we, we fucking talked about crying about what's going on. Seriously, holy shit. Solution. Yes. Yep. My God. She's literally a Twitter person. Fuck Let's you. Let's talk Kelly. about I vegan cats. I'm not a host. I'm on the fucking panel. Yeah, Why and all you do is come. You've done questions. this your whole life. Every show, you no, just complain about what's happening. I'm thinking about foot fungus. That's not even relevant to anything. Okay, I don't want to listen about fucking foot fungus. That's weird. Jesus. Okay, can we. Tom, can we go back and forth real quick? We need to brainstorm a list of topics that Kelly is okay with. I don't want her to feel weird or anything here, okay? I don't want I don't want any weird topics. The topics that, that you suggested, I've gone through them. I'm going through them one by one. Yo, yo. all the retards better, Tom, instead of like joining in. Do you know how fucking unprofessional it is to complain about the topic when you are one of the people organizing the fucking show and derail the entire conversation? The appeal of the show is that it's a fluid conversation, not that it just relies on one fucking topic. There's people here. Leave Kelly alone. She's a nice girl. So she works hard. She doesn't need your shit. Y'all be shooting heroin. Come over and hang out. This is my bad. bad. Talking about I deserve to be the here people, the least. The people who creativity, the people who creativity, the people who always bitch about the fucking topic daily. because they don't have anything interesting to say ever. Who is even speaking? Who are you? They need an interesting toilet paper stuck to your eye. Like need an interesting topic to make themselves interesting. In reality, that's why I love Karantos. It's like dog shit topic. Okay. Says the guy that's interesting. Self with ketchup and egg roll. Well, yo, my. Like, yeah, at least I don't have to do theatrics to make myself interesting. Uh, you, a like nihilist sociopath. That's like the ideal way of life. Can you explain a little bit why that's ideal? Nihilist sociopath. When you is only that care about yourself, ideology I promote you can like. It? Be number one in your own life, you know. Just but aren't me. You just, the most retarded. Don't you realize how many? I don't know what is our what is our question right now? What do we? It was who deserves to be here and who doesn't deserve to be here. Was that Tom? Yeah, the answer is I, I deserve to be here that, more than anybody. All of you are fucking animal abusing cucks. I'm a what was your last I'm meal? I eat like it's funny, you were all you fucking was assholes were calling me an animal abuser gains. for feeding my cat cats vegan. What the fuck do you guys do? I, I, I look. I Ashley, actually. You gotta bring out vegan cats in every oh, single oh, fucking oh, round. I, I've <laughs> never met a grown man whose entire personality is his diet. But wait up, wait up. Just jokes aside, though, vegan. I'm. I've not, never I'm met a wait. grown woman who says the dumbest shit <laughs> fucking Malik. constantly every time she opens her fucking. You haven't? Mouth. That's surprising. Do you not just speak to women? There's <laughs> a lot say, of dumb I've women. Met a lot I know. Like that. There's yeah. a lot of dumb. No, women. I, I tend to avoid the dumb I, bitches. I think I think yeah, like it's weird. you meet a lot of women like they're the ones that you're, you're, you're fucking women. paying. Yeah, so yo, vegan, uh tell me which bugs are sentient again? Like just so I can just kinda fix my diet. Um, I'm not Brilliant. well there's a lot of insects. Why but, uh, would you let it go back sentient. onto veganism again? Vegan gains you check your most recent insects. Check your most recent study. Sentient. It probably has a list of all sentient like, insects. Who the fuck is going to care if you step okay. on a fly so, and once it again, dies you're awful death. death. Once, once again, like, you're yeah, I, I could crush bodies. you like a fucking bug and I wouldn't give a shit. You could kill yeah, her? Because you know what's crazy would, what you just you said? Think animals... You could kill a human and not be bothered yet you won't eat chicken? Exactly. Yeah, she eats meat. Why would I be bothered <laughs> about no killing her? I'm wow. killing humans, but you're fine with yeah, I, I'm wild. fine with killing humans like you. You eat meat. Why the fuck should I, I give a shit if you die? You just want some carnivores to die, and it's not even carnivores. Do you identify as a furry? Can you justify your own existence? Wait, 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 wait. wait. Furry. Can you justify your own existence? Why shouldn't I kill you? I'm genuinely curious. Why should you identify as an animal? Vegan gains. Well, not yeah, to be but racist, why should I really hope you become another victim of statistics of black on black violence? I really hope you get gunned down in the street. Uh huh. Malik, are oh, you calling him an animal? Yes, I am. Yeah, so oh, Malik, why shouldn't I thinking? kill you? Can you give me a reason? I like what to see you try, animal? you fucking um, Ideally, the type of animal that 
someone would eat. Um, uh, okay, that, that's not an answer. Why should I not maybe kill Maybe a you? lobster so he could be boiled alive? If you kill her, who's going to Oh, you're not thinking Joker's lobster, dick. baby girl. You're thinking much worse than that. Yo, Ice, when you were a cook, what uh, was your go-to like uh, protein option that you would cook? I made a lot of fish, haddock and lobster and stuff. And were they always dead, or did you ever get them fresh and kill them yourself? No, I killed them myself, of course. Yo, vegan, vegan. We gotta target this fucking guy. Fuck Ice yeah. Poseidon, bro. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I've killed I'm many animals, you, vegan. I've decapitated lizards. I've burned ants. He um, scammed yeah. kids. Um, I, I hit a deer with a car, and then I finished the <laughs> job because it was in pain. Actually, that's, that's a, I feel like that might be empathetic. I don't know Mercy you, killing... Yeah, mercy, yeah mercy killing I, I'm legit. fine with mercy killing, but... I um, kill, be empathetic. I, killed, I don't know being, how you can justify games? your own existence while killing, while killing other animals. Have you ever so killed a guy human? Killing his own animals. Well, if I admitted that, that would be incriminating myself. <laughs> what the um, fuck? That's a great answer. Actually, you are an evil against killing because you're fine with killing carnivores. Yo. I, I've never said I'm against killing, killing necessarily. I'm fine time. with killing people oh. who kill other people. Yo, vegan, I, I think you I said live... you'd wipe out all carnivorous animals at points. Honestly, I've heard you say that. Vegan. Honestly, yeah, because they, they, they murder. No sense. I hope you have fun yeah, the day you get a meat OJ. So I think we're cool, right, vegan? We're cool. I, I live like a drivable distance away from you. I just want to make sure we're like we're we're chilling. Well, uh, do you eat meat? Turn up at your house. What Wait, vegan, are, are, I forget. Are you married? Yeah. If your wife killed an animal or one of your cats, what would you do to her? Well, I... I in an ideal <laughs> world, I, she would get what she deserves, but... And I'd what does she deserve believe. for killing your cat? Capital punishment, Oh, obviously. well, obviously Psycho. death penalty. Yeah, 100%. So you would murder your own wife for killing your cat? Kind of yeah, like if she just, if she, you like, brutally said, yeah, murdered my murder cat my for no reason, then yeah. Ice, Ice, take notes. This is fucking content. Go on, vegan. Oh, yeah. Talk about killing the edge of my feet right now. So, so again, um, Malik, you didn't answer my question. How do you justify your own existence? Like, why shouldn't I kill you if you murder other animals? Because she popped why that pussy real good. Me? Is, is that why shouldn't question? I kill you if you murder animals? First of all... Murder is a is a strong term there. I, yes, I've hunted and eaten what I've hunted. That's the only okay, time so I've I can hunt and kill you. But, like murder is a little. So I wouldn't murder you. I'd be hunting and killing and, you. And and your cats have murdered little rodents when you were no, watching them. So they deserve the death penalty too, don't they? No, they live inside. They don't. They haven't killed anything. So you lock them up inside Wait. against. <laughs> Where they oh wow, should a roam. house cat. Wait, Who's ever question, thought of question, such a, a thing? Even if, if your cat house accidentally cats, came it's not out, healthy to keep them inside twenty four seven. Malik, I would I murder that I, pussy. I, I if your give, house I cat give them accidentally lost. got out and That's came like back in the house time, with a mouse in its mouth, would you put it down? I feel no, like I just I make sure it can't get outside. An hour ago, wait, 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 and wait, wait, Destiny wait. called me a retard. Wait, that's crazy. So we are so, like wait, wait, circling hold on. around the fucking drain. So your point. wife kills an animal, and you kill your wife, but your cat kills a mouse, and you're like, oh no, no problem, bro. Why? Yeah, well, he there's ways of preventing cat. the cat so from committing murder. I can't really prevent my wife from committing murder. And he does his own fucking wife. And oh, if that's that the case, cat. I believe I've confronted you on this in the past. If you, you still haven't answered the question. How do you justify your own existence if you commit murder? If this you is, consider uh, your cat's five life, seconds, you, you, your own way. Now, you still you haven't answered the question. Cat. Can you give me a reason you why I shouldn't well, kill you? And now, you hold animals. on. She might so never have to answer that question. She might things. never have to answer that question because we are at the end of round two. Okay, can we can we Vote do like a truce? No or you want to keep, topics? not kick? I would love to. We've done like two rounds of it ever again. Oh my god, we've had enough, right? It's been in fairness. In fairness, in fairness, all of you keep bringing it up. Yeah, I'm yeah, just saying, like, we all made a truce. I tried to stop it on multiple occasions. Hopefully the, the topics Get some bugs in the chat, everyone. Own. Everyone, you need <laughs> to be bugs leading. in the chat. <laughs> bugs in the chat, I'm serious, man. This is, like, a, a thing that a lot of people ignore. It's like, okay, so you're talking about vegan gains. It's, like, what? bad. It's bad because the vegan shit, it's, like, plant-based. It doesn't give you proper protein. Bro, bugs, perfect protein. Not even fucking sentient. Half of them, at least. I don't know. Do you vegan can fucking inform me better on that. But Please yeah. don't. Please don't inform yeah. me. Bro, trust me, bugs, it's healthy. Trust Do anything okay? bugs No, they're not. Bugs. No. Uh, wait, most wait, insects really? contain Stop! parasites, and about 20% of them are wait, 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 transmissible. Wait, but what if the freeze dried? Please tell me if the freeze dried, there's no parasites. I'm gonna fucking puke. I'm gonna puke. Um, there there would still be parasite material left. They might okay, not be alive. That doesn't count, though, right? And uh, that can cause an allergic reaction. All right, oh, okay, we, we are at the end of the voting, and vegan gains. 
has come ahead into first place. And vegan must God bless vegan. Vegan gains must choose to eliminate either of course. Vito or Malik. Good luck. Wow. Oh, that's easy, Malik. Get Damn. the fuck out of here. <laughs> it was nice seeing y'all. <laughs> Malik, wait, shout yourself out. Where can we find you? What channel? Oh, Malik underscore zero four. I'm currently live on uh, Kick right now. Um, it was fun. Uh, tune in to the last season finale of Kick or Keep. Uh, good luck to the rest of you, um, retards. I hope the most retarded retard wins. Thank you. I plan on winning. Goodbye. God bless. Bye. This next topic is going to go crazy, right, Tom? I just decided you have so many problems with the topic. What the fuck do you want to talk about? And it can't be Kelly Jean. I can't oh, be no. Kelly Jean. All right. can't be Kelly Jean. No, I'm not a What do I want to talk about? Hmm. He's got nothing to say. Can we bro. talk about the fact that you scam people and wouldn't let them reset you in Japan? You asked for fifty thousand dollars to keep the stream going. Listen, here's the thing. You want to talk about I was that, protecting bro? protecting your bank account because I know how stupid you are, and you're going to give no. me all your fucking money and be You were protecting practice. your own crybaby ass from continuing bro. streaming, so you hey, made it fifty grand. I want to see you, you go live. For 17 days. I'll do straight. it with Let's you, and I will never feel. change the reset. Sociopath, narcissist. All right, stream for seven, 17 days no, straight. Let's I'm see gonna, how you I'm feel, bro. Do it with you wouldn't you, be able to. You can't even get up out of your chair. You I'll do it fuck. with you. I will show you that you're a fucking bitch. Bro, yeah, come with me. Think bro. of the worst challenge you can do. You'll be walking down the street. People are going to look at no, you like you're a let's fucking go to demon. Bang I'm going to Bangkok in a few weeks. Come out to Thailand. Let's do it there. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Roll around in a wheelchair? <laughs> Dude, I'll get hookers right, to well, carry me around. Uh, I think it's I think it's obvious you guys didn't seem to have very many good ideas. So uh, yep. on I to think the we next fucking... talk about. I think we should talk about God. Okay, tell Didn't me. We already then, do you're, that? You're, you're, you established us beside that you're a nihilist, right? So you oh, yeah. don't believe in God, right? So God is you, certainly not real. And basically, you're like a hedonistic nihilist. Is that like how you would call it, or how would you call it? Yeah, God's not real. Anyone who believes in right. God is just coping. You can technically sucks. believe in God people, and still be a nihilist. But are other people real? Yeah, I agree, vegan. But are other people real, Ice? Or is it just you? Hmm. I mean, other people are real, yeah. What do you mean? Okay, so then would you not agree that there could be, like, instead of having a specific God that you pray to, it's just, like, you, your philosophy is that you want to uplift, you know, people around you. You want to uplift a lot of fucking... Uh, you know, make the world a better place, all this shit, so that people's lives are less dog shit. Yo, go listen, what the, the fuck world is already saying? a horrible place. Nothing right. I'm going to do is going to change that. So I let the world be, and I only care about my world, okay? Right, right. My but world is the worse? only thing that matters to me. I don't give a fuck about politics. I don't give a fuck about what's going on in Iran and Israel. I don't, it, doesn't, it doesn't affect me at all. So why the fuck would I care? I care no, about my enough. world. Right, right, right. Didn't you, like, almost reason... get shot to death by the Thai police? Yeah, okay, yeah. Like, like what do you mean? That, Other people also... have had this sort of, uh, like, the viewpoint that you have where, fuck this guy, I only care about myself, okay. he twerked in front of some fucking Karen bitch, L yeah. like... Yeah, here's the thing but, that ice, this ice, sort of mentality kind of bites you, you in the ass if other people have that mentality ice, too. Can you name... oh, really, I blackmailed them, so it it affect it's it's cool with me. Sick, yo, Ice. Can you name just like rapid fire all the people who fucked you over over the years, like literally completely backstabbed you, fucked you over? Mm. Okay, no need to do give that. me a number. Why would, I, why would I do that for? Okay, but give me a number, like ballpark. How many people have fucked you over over the years? Mm, just one. <laughs> really? How many people that... have you fucked over? Mm. Just a couple. Oh, Can you shit. name them? Who are they? Mm, I don't really know, to be honest. Um, I don't think I really fuck people over. I more so lie to people to get what I want. Right, right. Okay. Yeah, no, what do you think? Uh, were you religious in younger years, Ice Poseidon? Nope, never was. Religious? I was never was. as a child, and I never gave a fuck, nor ever believed. So no one, but your parents were not okay. religious. Ice. My parents are not religious, no. Ice, I have a question. When you got no content to offer, when you're on your deathbed, who's going to be there with you? My child. Okay, so you do want to have kids. So once oh, you have I'm... a kid, is your life about you or is it about the kid? Well, the kid is an extension of me, so... Okay, now we're talking. All right, that's a... So, that's a... Yeah, go on. So it, w it would be about both of us. But obviously, if the kid is successful, that helps me too. If the kid right. is a homeless crackhead, then I have to disown him and get another okay. one. Okay, and Vegan Gaines is going to kill you or the kid who's dying? Uh, well, I mean, I don't want to die. Both so if they eat me. Throw the kid in front. <laughs> okay. I All mean, right. I brought no. the kid to this world. I'll take him out. Like, whatever, dude. Understood, understood. No, I'm just trying to get, like, a read on your philosophy here. I get it. It is It is like a nihilistic narcissism. I like it. I think it's it's really... Uh, narcissism is such a bad You're uh, right, but, but I mean, like... Uh, I don't like that label. I'm not a narcissist, nor am I a sociopath. I am just living 
life in the most efficient way that's going to yeah. benefit me the most, right? I don't, does it, that's what it, everyone it, should do. Otherwise, okay. they end up being uh, fucking why homeless Why are you trying to psychoanalyze people? Here's my question. Has that has that made you happy? Very weird. It's because I can't very, see him, so I'm, I'm trying to happy. understand his mind. I'm trying to see his mind. Right why, are you, why are you happy? Because I have everything that I've ever wanted. What are those things? Uh, you know, materialistic things. Um... Do you not I care about health. having a, my health? Share that with? Do you think Six you've achieved the maximum happiness? Uh, you I can could get reach? girls. I mean, whatever, dude. Do you well, not care uh, about having anyone to like have a genuine connection with or share that experience with or no? Yeah, whatever, dude. I'll have a baby at some point, and then that's the. Uh, the what about kid, friends and family? Do you Tom, know? Does yeah, this I, sound I got like, friends. Um, does this I got, sound like I got a good you? group of friends. Like, I don't need to have like okay. love if that's what you're asking. Okay. All right. Fair enough. What do you think? The real question. The real question we should be asking. Fire towards. Wait up. The real question we should be asking. Okay, Shut the fuck up. No, 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 no. What is love? What is love? Because people use that word. No, 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 no. That's actually a really good question because people use that word so fucking liberally. I mean, love is just when you're willing to sacrifice yourself for the other person. I agree. I agree. Actually, that's funny. So you think that you live in a world without love? Like you don't have love for anything other than basically yourself, and maybe a little bit to a kid, but not enough to like actually sacrifice. Make a point. you can never you love anyone point. more than yourself. The point Goku, me, why are you yeah. dick riding ice so hard? Why am I what dick the fuck? riding him? Why is this an interview? I'm getting, just, the, I'm getting the content out of his ass no, and also. What are we doing? You're just, you're you're just, just jealous, him Reese, over because you're not fucking talking. You you're got nothing to say. Because I'm the one interviewing him in some one on one dick riding fucking Well, it sounds. I don't hear the fucking host interject. We need to Okay, wait, stop. Hold on. New rule. Wait, new rule. Wait, new rule. Okay. You're muted for. Four minutes, if you do something along the lines of like, why are we talking about this if you don't have anything else to talk about? If you want to bring I up agree. new questions or something like that, that's fine, okay? But if you just want to like, why are we talking about this? Thing. Yeah. No, 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 that wasn't what I was doing. That Get was on a one-on-one -on -one conversation. We're, supposed, we're having a group conversation. He's not, he's it's an interesting forward. question. Does Ice feel fulfillment yeah. from his job? Or does he just and like I'm, being able to fuck girls or travel well, or whatever, and that's it? What is love? But he's saying that you can't love anyone more than you love yourself, and that's just total cap. Why would, ask yourself, why would a Muslim jihad member, like someone kill themselves for their cause? It is because they do love, you know, the cause or something. No, dude, it's because they're mentally fucking deranged, not because they believe in any love. They're mentally ill, bro. They think they're going to get fucking love is a mental illness in a way love is kind of a mental illness it's like self-sacrifice you said it yourself it's actually acting against your own interest a lot of no. the time are you fucking retarded bro this, uh, am I? here's the thing the love has thing. balance right you need balance in yes, your life if I agree. you love somebody you're gonna have a balanced life that's healthy but you can uh, love someone. You well, let me ask you this: you, you, you if you have a kid, your entire well-being for the other person, then yes, so you're if, having if an you had a kid, unbalanced relationship, and you're mentally ill. But it could. Oh wait, be if love, you had a right? kid and you had to sacrifice yourself to save the kid, what would you do? I would sacrifice the kid. That's what he was saying. <laughs> you would sacrifice the kid. You'd let your kid die. I can die always make so another kid. On There's only one of me. Oh wait, is there any right. is there any conceivable possibility that at some point in your life you would sacrifice yourself for some other person or some other thing or some other idea or some other? Like, think about it this way, because I know no. how to speak. I know how to speak in like the way that you would, you know, understand. It's like, okay, so what if you can sacrifice yourself when you're already almost about to die, and it'll be like a martyr, and you'll become like a fucking religion will be based around you, and your ego will be fucking validated for the rest of time. Would that be a worthwhile reason for you to sacrifice yourself? Again, you're already nope. Alone. Because when you die, there's nothing. It's just black. So there's okay. No ego. So you're actually kind of coherent. That's nice, actually. That's yeah, there's no ego. I don't care if I when I die, I don't care what people think about me. I'm nice. Ice, you want to understand correct? Why sacrifice yourself for anyone else? There's no point in it. I mean, I, I mean, I well, definitely don't think there's no honest. point. I definitely don't think there's no point. Like, well, what's like the I real? Said, why would he not be honest? What is the moral implication? Kelly, I there? would sacrifice only myself to get even one night with that left titty. I think a lot of people that, who that are would claiming. That would be a lie. Yes, as we've been on this conversation, that's an the, example. Of wait, wait, wait. Are we trying ice? to? Anyway. Finish? Hold on, hold on. Are we trying to say Ice Poseidon is morally corrupted because he won't let himself no, die? I'm not, I'm not saying, judging. No, that's not what I'm saying. I'm Most not judging. people what would saying? say that they would sacrifice themselves for their kids, but not everyone would. A lot of people. Mm -hmm. I would drag shit. my balls through the depths of hell to eat the corn out of your shit, Kelly. Jesus oh, Christ. That's number 10. There number are like 10 three areas we end up in, and it's like veganism, being weird. Okay, you're complaining uh, about the topic again. Please, no, please. Veganism period. and being weird never were the topics, you silly fucks. No, right? but you're, you're, you're acting in a world where this fucking... Yeah, see, veganism see, this is where you're confused. Kelly, 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 this is where you're confused. Ice understands this better than anyone here, which is that none of what we are saying fucking matters at all. So literally, whatever tangent we go down, that's fine as long as it's fucking content. Well, it needs to be entertaining. That's what I'm saying, as long as it's content. 
as long okay. as it's content. What's, hold on. That's not a good... That doesn't make sense to say nothing we're saying matters. Like No, no, no. I'm saying that she's trying to correspond to the rules, which is like, okay, guys, come on. We had this topic we were assigned. And what I'm saying is that as long as it is interesting, we just go with whatever the fuck is... Yeah, but is it... Right but I feel... You, and you're the one accusing him of being a narcissist. Then, then cut me off. What's the conversation? Let's hear it. Yeah. I, act, I actually have a. We got like ten. I actually have a question. And I'm not accusing for, uh, him of being a narcissist. Ice. Sorry. You I'm gonna be honest. Accused, okay. Okay, Kelly. The problem with the questions is that nobody here is particularly interested in engaging, in particular Ice Poseidon, who seems to be guiding the conversation. I don't know if it's because he's the most famous Just person. I'm the, the one guiding it, but I don't fair. know what the fuck it is. Yeah, but none no, of them are intellectually stimulating veganism. enough for the people here to talk about. Okay. I'm well, the veganism wasn't even on the topic. That's just because the fucking vegan guy is here and he loves to talk about it because his entire life. Okay. Make. Okay. Kelly has to do the next question. Go. I'm not the host. No, nope, doesn't matter. You're doing I the next one. That was the role. We just did the role. No, no, then Pip went for the list. Go. We just did it for role. You can't complain if you're not going to bring something up. So now it's your turn to bring something up. Do you want me to pick it? And you can do whatever you want. You'd have to bring something up. Stop complicating it All with right, your like brain and pick like. one. How about shut the fuck up? Nobody asked. Good. All right. Uh, I... <laughs> I want to do the peanut butter dick jar question because I think it's funny. Um, but maybe. Okay, um, Kelly. What is the peanut butter dick jar question? What have you done, John? What is the peanut butter dick dick jar question? I'm interested. You laugh about what question you might ask. Typical woman only complains, offers no solutions. Tell me about the dick jar. You stupid fuck. You won't even think of anything I was saying. Tell me about the dick jar. I was right. Right. I will read it to you if you shut up. Okay. okay. Am I the asshole for putting my penis in a peanut butter jar and leaving it in the kitchen? Uh, no, that's free protein. Free protein. So basically, this guy, uh, he fucked the peanut butter jar because he was using it with his girlfriend as like a sex toy. And then for whatever reason, they didn't throw it away and they put it back in the cupboard. Who lives and in the house? housemate is notorious for like borrowing food. Who lives um, in the house? Did have a label on it though. Who lives in the house? Uh, him, Honestly, his I girlfriend. Think that's what do you mean it had a label? This guy what? steals what? your food all the like, time. Like if it's his it's food and butter, the roommate stealing it, then Wait. that's on him. The label said sex toy. I'm gonna or... be outnumbered on this because everyone in here is disgusting, degenerate. That's okay with any dick. If your roommate was stealing your food, food that'd be your fucking penis Kelly, butter. Like it's in the food cupboard. But Kelly, Kelly, what is what is your stance? Let's hear it. There's no reason to put it in the cupboard because it's been contaminated by having his dick put in it, so he can't use it at a later date. It's what if he's got a clean Okay, well, so there's shouldn't... plenty of ways to contaminate away. food. Wait, wait, there's plenty of ways to contaminate food. Like, I mean, if somebody has a large, like, two-liter bottle of soda, they might just drink straight out of it. That's contamination, technically. If it's if yours, though, and that's fine. And if somebody, like, if somebody frame, gets herpes, your herpes from drinking your fucking bottle, then fuck them. Wait, is a dick you, a natural realize, contaminant? What's so gross about a dick? You realize that you can't just drink, like, Coke that's had your saliva in it, like, for uh, any length of time as well. That will what if, grow what bacteria what, okay. as well over time. What, what, every, what hold on. Wait, 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 hold on, wait, to be clear, wait, 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 to be clear, hold on, every single food product basically grows bacteria, that's why you put them in refrigerators, to slow down the growth of said bacteria, or freezers. What if you shower before you fuck the peanut butter, then why is an issue? Why is an issue if you clean your dick? Okay, here's the real question, I think, is it, is it a part of the kink or the foreplay that it's, like, fucked up that the roommate's gonna eat it later, right? Like, is there some sexual satisfaction that's coming from... Don't change the fucking question! Yeah, we didn't even answer the first one. Let's just answer the question. You're right, let's get it, let's get it. Did it come the in the jar? Is there semen in it? Uh, okay, that's there has to be some it. remnants, right, of yeah, like protein. fluid in there. Yeah, but it's yours. If it's yours and your roommate's stealing it, hold then it's on, your roommate's fucking fault. Things, there's but certain things in the cupboard. But it wouldn't even be good for any length of there's time. There's certain things it would get in the cupboard. Nasty. I don't think no. it would. Uh, I think you misunderstand how clean dick, dicks can be. I don't think it's naturally that gross. Sex What's, dicks are not clean. Okay. How do you know? Yeah, 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 yeah. You know what? I'm actually what seeing your side of it. Let's see or something. No, no, bro. But think about it. The type of person who's gonna fucking do peanut butter foreplay with a woman and not a dog is probably gonna have an STD of some kind, bro. That makes what? sense what she's saying. Clearly, bro. If if you're gonna fucking be having your dick in there and you're a weird little doggy, you're what if he's just put his dick in the peanut butter? So and then, then she the blew him. Yeah. yeah. So wait, yeah, there's, no, fucking, puss, there's dog, no sex like, contaminants. You're, but you're basically fucking a dog. That's Unless he is. put his dick back in there. But right, if he just, but he, if it was one dick, one insertion to the jar, and then she sucks the peanut right. butter off, there's nothing wrong with that jar. But people who if fuck he double dogs, dipped? People who fuck dogs are dirty. Can we agree okay. with that? I mean, I literally Hold on, how do we make this connection? How do we get the fucking dog like dogs? No, because 
How the only the context dogs? the only context is that clearly this guy has a fetish where he likes a dog licking his cock when it has peanut what? butter on it. No, he just wants to put his dick no. in peanut butter, you <laughs> sick fuck! I've done that. That's Why fine. did you bring Literally dog fine. fucking in here? Carcanaro, I think you fuck dogs, that? bro. So I know you're Asian and you guys don't know how to treat dogs right. You fuck but... dogs if you go to that. Okay. Like, no we one normally thinks that. No, 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 no. You had dogs lick peanut butter off of your dick all the time. Like that's a past. Ice Poseidon just admitted he's like, yes, I've done that. And yeah. So yeah. you you're admitting it as well. Don't piggyback off him. Act like everyone's okay done, just it. He's done it. Nobody wants what? to admit it, but everyone's everyone's done put it. peanut butter had. on their dick no. and had a dog lick no. it. I don't know. Everyone has done it at least once. You just don't want to admit it. <laughs> the, the the fundamental problem here is that the peanut butter is his property. If somebody else is going to take his property and do something with it, Wait. if that property is contaminated in some this way, is so then it's the person's fault who's stealing the property. How I can do whatever the fuck I want with my peanut butter. I can jizz in it. Like peanut butter it. No, no, no. Wait, okay, We're just going to move past that? On, no, 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 no. <laughs> no, there's a way bigger moral dilemma here. There's certain things Where in the kitchen that is Where do you guys just spawn the idea understood. that you want to have a dog like peanut butter off your cock? Where does okay, that come Weast, from? Weast, you're pretending like this isn't a fucking thing that's been joked about in 50,000 fucking American Yeah, but where, movies, where does it come from? Oh, it comes from the- you know, clearly, what's actually happening. Bro, clearly the guy has a fetish where he likes the dog licking it off, and so now he's with his girl, so he's- Why is that assumed? Fetish. Because obviously, bro, what the fuck? Have you ever heard of a guy looking at fucking hold on. off a woman? If you, if you have, like, COVID or something, and you don't like feel like telling... Butter? If you have COVID or something, you don't want to tell your family, or, or you don't want to tell your roommates, do you have an obligation to say that if you're putting food back in the cupboard and it might be contaminated with, like, COVID? Yeah. What if she yeah. had a peanut butter allergy and he was yeah. trying to kill if, the bitch? I mean, at the end of the day, all of this is just a matter of, like, do you care, right? So, like, Ice Poseidon won't give a fuck. Fucking Mexican Andy's gonna definitely eat the cum peanut butter. But, like, yeah, if you care about the people, and if they find out, if they find a big glob of semen in there and they ask... You know what I mean? What the fuck is that? Whoa. It looks like a clear, a clear fucking dick hole is in there. And then the guy's like, yo, did you just come in this and leave it in there? And you're like, no. Also, it's on the roommate's part. You got to kind of yeah, be fucking retarded. Yes. It's Why obvious that a yes. dick's been in there, right? Why would you eat it if you yeah, can if there's tell like a dick's a been in the jar? Well, the roommate, does, it, does his roommate have I Down mean, syndrome? Dude, I used to, I used to literally like come off, in my roommate's room. It's like a dick inside of peanut butter. I don't know about you, but I put my dick in a peanut butter like jar. It leaves a cast. You, oh, I, it's very obvious your dick's been in there. Brilliant. Yeah. How did it feel? What? It what felt just, like putting your dick in peanut butter. Who did we just lose? Okay. It kind of felt like having sex with a slime girl. He dips. Probably, oh, internet. It happens sometimes. Stay away from the fluffer nutter. I can say that. Uh, too sticky. Look, there's certain items in the cupboard. I don't know what roommate situation you guys are in. There's some psychopathic. Your roommate can never touch your peanut butter. If my That's roommate awesome. wants to make a peanut butter sandwich, and they go, yeah, you know, and later they go, hey, I used a little bit of your peanut butter. I go, yeah, that's cool, man. You'll get me back, yeah. or I'll use some of your whatever. You know, the sugar in the cupboard is shared. The flour. There's there's certain things in the cupboard that do not need to be yeah. policed. As but the, if he said he didn't want to share, he has it labeled, and he said that in the 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 synopsis. If they it was have, if they have an understanding, and he said, "Listen, my peanut butter, I'm telling you, that's my peanut butter, and it's very special to me, and I advise you not that's to use it." That's why he labeled it. Yeah. yeah. So well, it's all it what he says Tom's peanut butter. Yeah. Yeah. You I assume do whatever you want with your property, whether it's contaminated or not. It would be I don't think what if my fault. property is my peanut cat. butter in the cupboard anyway. <laughs> what, what, what if, what if my property is my problem. cat? Exactly. Well, your I cat's agree. a sentient being, so y you should have considerations for the cat, even if it's technically your property. There's peanut butter cat, isn't sentient. Dude. Who gives what a shit? It? Right, so like, guys, right. we're we're uh, just again. From the original Ice Poseidon, question. if you were to so, kill so I have, a cat I have a every question. time wait, you wanted wait. a peanut butter, nineteen off seconds. Your, dick by your dog, would you do it? That's the original question. Yes, of course what? I would. No, wait, I have a question wait, for Ice. You would I have kill a question the cat. For Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Like peanut butter off we got, we got ten, 10 seconds left in the round, so you're gonna have to ask it next round. Okay, we are at the. Fucks dogs have a dirty dick. That's the real question. That's fucking sick. I like that you stick to your guns, Ice. You'll kill a cat for just to get a nut off. Good job. We made it to the end of round three. I'm proud of you guys. I'm not proud of you guys. You guys suck. Um, but here you go. Uh, polls in chat. You have a minute to vote. Vote for you want to keep, not kick. Okay. Good luck. Yeah, so I have a question for Ice. Like, um, how do you justify your own existence if you I hate don't this care question. for... Please don't do vegan Bugs shit again. Chat. Bugs in the chat, everyone. How Just do I justify my existence? Yeah, so if, if, you're gonna well, wait, if you're going to have this policy, well, wait, if you're going to have this policy that I get to do whatever I want bugs. to anybody to anybody I want, 
then how do you justify your own rights being protected? Like, uh, presumably, you wouldn't want somebody killing you or abusing right. you, right? Oh, they could try, bro. I got a Beretta M13. They can come and try. You I'll sound eager. Well, guess what? You the Thai eager. police tried, and they were fucking successful, weren't they? They didn't kill like me. They... they arrested me, and I blackmailed them and got released. Well, how'd you blackmail them? Okay, well, friend? what if that didn't work? I had a okay, okay someone give me some more context on the peanut butter burger, by the way. Oh, yeah. Apparently... Listen, vegan, bro. You come oh, at me, bro. All right, the hold on. The votes are in. The votes are in. The votes, are in. the votes are in. The votes are in. The votes are in. Ice Poseidon, you won that last round. Congratulations. You have to choose if you want to kick off Wes or Vito. Good luck. Who's Vito? Uh, yeah, I don't How really would know. You not know. I, I don't know Vito, so I'm going Vito. No, no. Oh, Vito's the other big dude. That's a nice kitty. I think you should reconsider. I don't know who you are, bro. Wes has donated to me. I've donated like a hundred bucks to you, like last week. Yeah, but Wes has donated thousands. <laughs> yeah, but Wes is only doing that because he wants to suck your dick. What the hell? That's crazy. And I would well, never. Do you want to suck my dick? No. Well then, you got. I want to help you get your dick sucked. No, I want you. To, I want you to do it or get Go out. Go to superkiller.org. Buy Superkiller, my comic book. It's only available for another two weeks. Good shit, Vito. Thanks, Thanks Vito. Sure we love you. Guys. Be careful. Thank I you for coming you. on. Bye. Bye bye. Okay. Someone sent me bye more bye. context on the peanut butter jar. They had issues sharing food beforehand, and they were labeled because of a rat infant state, rat infestation, and roommates, they had both stolen food from each other. So it Gosh. seems like the guy fucked the peanut butter jar to get his roommate to eat it as a fuck you to him. Which is hilarious, and he gets bonus yeah, points for I that. I get it. I like it. I like uh, it. No, I that's just... It. That's awful. Stop no, stealing my fucking peanut evil. butter. Now you're eating my dick. Chaotic? Is that... Lovely. Yeah, that's chaotic How evil. fucking cheap are you to just not buy your own goddamn peanut butter jar, right? It's like a dollar. All you right, I think we're the I think we're at the end of this topic. So we have a we have a new topic. Okay, uh, we're we're gonna get to this right now. Obviously, all of you guys know what commentary channels are on YouTube. Okay, documentary channels. Think Sunny V two. I guess my channel stuff like that. Uh, so the question is, as you guys may know, Gino Samuel regularly posts forty minute documentary style videos about Chris Chan. Currently, he's on yeah. part eighty four. Is there a point where YouTube <laughs> should step in? 84. Are these videos harassment? That Our dude sounds like the biggest him. leech ever. No. Uh, Here's the thing. Me and Tom, we already talked about this, but YouTube does not care at all. You can like even fucking make the worst accusations ever. As long as you make it sound like it's a documentary and it's objective, and the person is not popular or a loser, like YouTube will never step in to fucking protect Chris. But, I don't but, think, in my opinion. But, but, yeah, but should they? Should they step in to protect anyone? No. Uh, Who the fuck is Chris? No, Chan, as bro. long as it's not violating terms of service, just because you make a video after video after video. <laughs> you, don't, you don't know who Chris Chan is? I so vague. No, he's, he's a, like a cringe. He's uh, like the he's most a... cringe lol cow, whatever person of all time. So the reason why it's okay is because these people chronicle the lives of the lol cows because people are fascinated by how fucked up they are. Yeah. All these people that have these infinite series on them are because of the weird horrible fucked up shit that these people do right chris chan yeah. fucked his own mother like he's Jesus. done he's a fucked up human being well he's so a people public are figure fascinated too. by he's a he's a public figure be because he fucked his own mother that's literally where well, he exploded well uh look if we're gonna have this policy where you can't make video after video after video chronicling somebody's life then that would mean like uh, a lot of news channels wouldn't be able to like uh right. track people like donald trump because well, oh, yeah. what if Trump is not really the same as Chris Chan, who's just like what a weirdo if, online? What well, if the person in question is a, is a private, private citizen who's done horrible things? Is it is it okay to make videos about them? No, yeah. I, I don't think so. Well, no, sorry, no, yes, you're yes, only yes, saying that because you've yeah, got yeah. shit on like crazy in so many videos. Dude. If you've done fucked up, <laughs> me? fucked up shit to no, people, what's so guy. wrong with you being exposed for it? I also yeah, think. Wait, wait. When you talk about this, we should be clear. When we say, "Is it okay to make videos?" We should like be very clear. Do we mean like should it be illegal? Should YouTube yeah. make rules against it, or should we just is, discourage it? The, the, right. the, the question from the beginning was: Should YouTube? Have some policy in place to stop harassment. Yeah, sure. Ideally, ideally, like, what? Yeah, harassment. Oh, I mean, sure, but like making a video about videos, somebody in and of itself it's isn't fine. harassment. Well, like let's say, let's say Gino Samuel makes all these videos, and let's say his viewers then go to Chris Chan and make the situation worse for him. Maybe they, you know, not because of him necessarily, because he's not encouraging it. Let's say they end up calling his neighbors and telling them what he did and trying to get the neighbors to go fuck with him. Yeah, yeah. yeah. 
I stuff think it's like a that. Like there, as, there can be IRL consequences. Yeah, the yeah, person yeah, being farmed, if they're a bad person, if they do fucked up shit, they're going right. to get views on those videos. But if you do it to a private citizen or someone who hasn't done fucked up shit and no one knows anything about them and there's no reason to follow it, it's not going to get views, so they're not going to get where, harassment. Where, where is the line between like, someone being a bad person? Yeah, like, like, how are we I don't content? think we need a hard line. I think is it, it it's, justifiably enough content in these 84 videos? It naturally solves itself. Right. The, the more fucked up shit he does, the more views he gets, Apple. the more people well, look, that are harass him. The less fucked up shit you do, the less fucked up, the less people who harass you because no the one's going to watch the videos. The real question if, is, if the worry is your fan base will go and harass somebody, well, you don't have uh, control over your fan base. Like, I mean, they're crazy individuals. Like, there's that oh, one you guy you no saw fans. the movie Taxi who tried to assassinate mm -hmm. Reagan. Like, you could say, okay, well, because the movie Taxi was made, that guy was inspired to assassinate Reagan. People who made Taxi have nothing to do with that. They're not responsible. So it, even if there were some unhinged individuals who would go out and harass Chris Chan just because, of, you know, documentaries were made about him, that's not on, on, like, that's not the fault of the person making the documentary. Like, unless they're spreading some sort of horrible lie about him, but like, at, like Alex Jones spreading lies about the Sandy Hook families. Uh, talking about how they're part of like some evil cabal of Jews who are trying to take your guns away and like you know make the government control you. Like that's an example of harassment that should be policed on YouTube. But Bro, if somebody is just chronicling like, Chris Chan's dude life, seems like I, I don't. He watches 9/11 videos on repeat every day. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, we need up? to get this guy to start chronicling fucking vegan gains life. Yeah, yeah. The the real question oh, is though, fine. like, does Chris Chan give a fuck, right? Like, if Chris Chan's bitching and like he's telling us like this is fucked up my life in a really bad way. Obviously, he's probably too fucked up to even verbalize that. But like, I mean, I think if they do do that, then they can like DMCA these videos and get them taken down. So it's it's on it's your responsibility to if you're not okay with what's being posted about yeah, you I to react to such. I think it's fucked up for YouTube to step in on behalf of someone if that makes sense. Yeah. Like uh, like again, if you literally dox them, like if you're actually like fucking like straight up like chaotic evil, you're trying to fuck up their life. Obviously, like you're gonna get nuked. But like if you're just talking about literally the shit that they make public, right? Like Christian makes this shit public, right? Yeah. Like, that's the whole thing. It's yeah. like okay, well, what the fuck? Clearly, Christian actually gets this weird kind of satisfaction. Same as all fucking low cows, which is why I kind of hate low cows. It's like they only get attention they only get money they yeah. only get like b benefits when they fuck shit up and when people just start laughing at them you know what i mean so like you're actually by cutting off this fucking content you're n no longer advertising his fucking like potential yeah, he's making money. more money because yeah. people are hating him that's what the, the low cows are built on is I don't people think hate he's someone that make makes money. a monetary gain from the hate on the internet. He must like, have found oh, a way. He does. He does. He how? Does. He sells how? He sells his Etsy book. shop. People buy those fucking Sonichu pendants. I have a friend yeah, of mine yeah. who owned one, bought it for like two hundred dollars off his Etsy. Yo, Tom, and she loves Bo it Blacks? because she loves locales. Does Bo Blacks have any Sonichu uh, comics? Tom? The more the more people that pay attention to this, the more money they make. I think them. there's so I think there, there's a there's a question in media. This was really popular. This was a huge deal, like seven or eight years ago, I think, about what is considered newsworthy. And I think that's kind of what we're talking about. Like um, right. there was a person that was posting either memes or something online that some people considered like I don't remember if they thought they were racist or pro Nazi or pro Trump or something. And then I think the Washington Times is going to publish a piece on this person with the person's full name. And a lot of right. people like us, our types on the internet, were like, oh well, this is doxing. But in the ordinary yeah. World of journalism. Well, it's not doxing. You publish people's information when they're like right. talking about newsworthy, relevant stuff. But I think the question is like, what is newsworthy? Like, I think we would the all agree. That person made, by the way, was literally it was a video of Vince McMahon like smacking someone in the face or something. Or sorry, it was Donald Trump hitting Vince McMahon in WWE, Some, and they yeah. photoshopped like the CNN logo over Vince McMahon's head to be like Donald Trump owns them, and that was it. And then they decided to they were threatening to publish his information unless he like took down the post or apologized. Do you not and have to get yeah. consent for that? You can legally just post someone's full information. Doxing, doxing, doxing is not illegal. Nothing yeah, is illegal so. about posting information. Yeah, but I, I guess the question is like, what, what is too far? We should change that. Like when people no, mm -hmm. it's unworkable. But like, so when people are threatening to publish uh, like the libs of TikTok accounts full name because they know who she is, or right. if somebody was making videos about Chris Chan but it wasn't Chris Chan. It was like a weird kid at somebody's school. Like, would that be okay if there's like a weird 19 yes. year old college kid and you want to make like if you're 50? You're going after people on the internet. You don't get that karma. It's I mean, going to happen. Well, my since mind. the question, the original question was about Christian. He's been a an actual public figure for quite a while. If you're talking about somebody who isn't a public figure, who's just yeah. I don't know a weirdo in high school, then I think there is a well, we're, real quick responsibility. For, wait, 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 real quick, real quick for Christian. For Christian, is Christian? Did they actually try to become a public figure? Were they just posting comics on yeah. Fortune and they became one? No, he he he, he was uploading to YouTube and making videos. Okay, and, okay, okay. Uh, I didn't know that. Also, I was 
Yeah. He was also, also, and again, he was also posting to Reddit and stuff like that too. Uh, so I, also, I would consider that a public here, here's figure. Here's a question: Chris Chan also has autism. Do you think somebody being mentally disabled should preclude you from making video content criticizing them, making no. fun of them? That's, no. Actually, I, I was no. going to ask basically the similar, but it's like with kids. Like with kids, would you have like a fucking leniency to like? No. Uh, have nobody no. to buy on this show. It's a good way to learn. To you have to. Tasks. You reap what you sow. So if you're going to do dumb shit. You, it's good that people sometimes get exposed because it lessens the amount of fucked up people posting fucked up shit up there. Right. I think it's it okay that that's, that's not true at all. That's I think th 100% it is. If you would you type the hard R in Discord a uh, hundred times bro. if you knew there was a chance for every time you typed it, so someone would talk about it, your name would get leaked, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Yeah, bro, listen, the I've impacts on your real life I, have effects. I've, I've typed the hard R in Discord a lot. I've got a million lot, fucking so. shitty videos made about me, bro. <laughs> yeah, but Ice, you're it not has the same. Zero effect in my life. Yeah, it but you, hold on, you benefit from it. You're literally a lol cow, you fucking retard. Yeah, you right. benefit when people post videos about you. You gain views, you gain followers. When it's someone who has a normal job doing a normal life thing, it could destroy their fucking life and but I'm, I'm still saying it's uh it should happen because it's it's like a checks and balances sort of thing right. the more retarded you act online the more risk you take of it affecting your real life so maybe don't be such right. a fucking idiot on the internet all the time yeah yeah, yeah. i yeah, agree I don't don't think think it at all. Here's the you're right? talking from such a biased view it's insane you're, okay so you like, hold on hold on, hold on. Like i have per i have oh yeah, i have examples of how it's fucked with your real life chowder heads like you there's literally that yeah, that whole scenario spray, fucked up your whole life mm -hmm. Right? What's that, that was your real life, a real job that was ruined, and you got like threatened over you because have of no the internet. I idea what you're talking about. I wasn't even, I, I got fired from there way before. But I, I know, but it was from your real job. life. It was a remnant of your real life, right? So it had effects from your real yeah, life. Yeah, but imagine, I was already a streamer at that imagine point. Imagine, I know. I didn't imagine work there. if you, you did work there and you still needed that job. So no, then it could have affected That's not you. true. I was a streamer. I wasn't working at Shouterheads. No, I was I working at a different weren't. place called Bravo. But I'm saying it could have affected you, right? There's people it's who stream like or whatever do dumb shit. I mean, it could have, but I was making so much money streaming at that point. Wouldn't it Which is mattered. exactly my point. It, it, you're not, you're, you're an exception. But to if the I normal. wasn't a streamer, I would never run into those problems. Who's making videos about random people with normal jobs? Well, that's the whole people point. People who where do it's fucked like, up exactly. shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, right, but, right, and also, I think. If you fucked up shit, then you get it coming. Whatever. I, 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 think, I, think, I think we have to be careful, well, too, because when we say. Accusations. When we say fucked up shit, also. Um, you have to keep in mind that on one side, you can talk about a moderating effect on maybe people won't do crazy things to people make videos about them, but there's also a chilling effect of maybe there are some things that people want to say or think are important, but now they're not going to because they're scared somebody's going to make a video on them. Uh, right. Like, for instance, that's maybe good. that's a good thing that people are scared to say things are going to cancel. Because there's always enough people to say enough fucked well, up retarded shit. We don't need more of them. Okay, so do you think it's fair? That kept in check that's right. Yeah, I got it. Do you think it's fair then when any girl publishes like these like Me Too things where she's like, oh, my ex boyfriend was like, uh, like he was just an asshole. He was kind of abusive or toxic or whatever. Yeah, All yeah. of those are good because they're basically just making content off of their relationship. Well, they should be allowed to upload well, a video saying that. Jesus. That's that's kind of what I would like. Yeah, they're good she, she, she should she should be she should be open to. Yeah, let's no lie, no lie, no lie. Obviously, that's boring. We're not saying lies. Obviously, that's wrong or bad, but I'm saying like some girl just makes a video because she thinks her ex was like, oh, like he was abusive because yeah. he was a piece of shit and blah blah blah, like yeah. that kind of stuff. What's is wrong with that? She should be allowed to upload that, and uh, yeah, the, I agree. You know, I think more victims happen, should yeah. speak out, right? Maybe when I think it, it helps prevent future victims. Video, we can right? say if that more people make videos about you, Destiny, maybe yeah. you would sex pest right. less people. Yeah, that's why I'm. It only makes them want to sex pest more. I'm a fan. The, th the problem is the algorithm to an extent, right? Like the algorithm, the way it works is it literally trains you. Like the, the algorithm gets trained to feed people more of what they're watching. And so if, yeah, it makes sense that this Chris Chan guy, it's like 80 plus videos. It's like every person in his audience is trained to watch Chris Chan. Yeah. So it's almost this weird cycle where if he stops making Chris Chan shit, he's going to instantly make less money, less views. So it's like a weird, vicious cycle where the guy actually kind of has to make Chris Chan videos. He's like a slave to the fucking Chris Chan videos. 100%. You know what I mean? He's a low cow um, farmer. Yeah, it's a weird thing. Yeah, but like uh, I don't know. I think that uh, it, it is. It does come down to the algorithm, uh, right? Whereas where it's like if the guy might not even want to make them, <laughs> but you, you kind of yeah. That to. sounds like a terrible job to have sitting at home making fucking Chris Chan videos and making yeah. It's like them. it's like the guy like Chris Chan. What can you know about Chris Chan that is actually gonna add substance to your life? You, there's no lo moral or lesson you can learn at this point after episode 87. Mm -hmm. There's more fucking episodes of this thing than there probably is of Breaking Bad. They're probably longer if you put them together. Um, so that's I think the only the only time it comes problematic is when it physically interferes with people's real lives. I like I know a lot of these people will get stalked. Uh, for example, there's a big CS:GO like gambler, and people hate him, and his address got leaked. So now people are hired to wait outside of his house in packs of like ten. Is there is there any just is there any justification that's for that kind of for that kind of real life interaction? Depending on the person. These fools. I don't think so. No, I don't think Let's, there's any way to justify. I, I'd say, say I'll, I'll give an example. 
Uh, I've made videos with someone named Kiro the Wolf, who was a furry YouTuber who fucked their dog and posted about it on a forum and mm -hmm. was fucking roadkill. Do you King think that buddy. person deserves oh. any real life intervention oh, yeah. or anything Absolutely. like that? Absolutely. I don't think p viewers of them or viewers of your channel should ever like up arms and then go out and try to pursue their own vigilante oh, justice. Like actually vigilante, yeah. Well, yeah. what if you what if you do Very stuff sad. that's going to like obviously lead in that direction, but you just don't do it Karen, yourself? That's a great question. So, but like for instance, that goes so like point of when you're you look responsible at, for your own audience sure, type shit. Sure, but like let's look at like a place like Kiwi Farms. So in Kiwi Farms, yeah. you're really not supposed to talk about like spam reporting people or going after people. If you do it in threads, usually people will call you out on and say, "Don't we don't do this here." But obviously, if you want to hurt somebody in real life, you go to Kiwi Farms to find all their information, right? It's the easiest mm -hmm. place to look it all up. So. How, so if you, you can say the same thing about some reports on YouTube. It's like, I don't want you guys to hurt this guy or be vigilante towards this guy, but here is a whole thing on how this guy comes right. in as like cat's water bowl and like gets off on it. Like, obviously people are going to go after them. Like, is that okay? Is yeah, it not okay that, to make the video? That happened like, to well, uh, I, I, I would say it's fine. It's it's naturally, guy. they're going to do it. Like, like that's the right. natural human response to this, which I don't think it is. I think it's completely unhinged okay. mentally ill response. Right. I so, mean, here's, a, here's, here's another question. question. Let's yeah, say, on, uh, I just want to say, let's say in the case of the dog fucker, right? Let's say we have the proof, we know what happened, but the police are unable to do anything about it. Why? And it, the, for whatever reason, it's unprosecutable, statute of limitations, stuff like that. Like for whatever reason, they're not prosecuting it, right? Let's let's say that. Let's say there was enough info online that we can colloquially say that he's guilty of fucking his dog. He said he did it, but the police, for whatever reason, don't have enough to say that something should happen, right? Yeah. Would it not be a somewhat natural conclusion for someone to take extra legal measures if they believe dogs are being abused? Oh, yeah. So then you would have like CPS some... and shit. or not CPS, but you call like the so, like one of the dog services. Well, it could be CPS let's say if for it's whatever a puppy. Wait, 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 wait. Let's say wait. for whatever reason, no agency member of the government is willing to do anything about it. I see. What well, you're when saying. it goes yeah, to like animals, so it, it, though, like they you, have like vigilante people going after like pedophiles, and even that. So you can trouble. expect. What the fuck is my face on ISIS stream? Stop it. Yeah, I'm not even looking at anyone else. What do you think should happen? What do you what do you think should happen to someone? like really limited like prosecution you can take against them in the first place so wait wait if what you do make, you if what you do make you think should a happen story someone who goes out and kills pedophiles what do you think should happen they should be put in prison Nothing. for murder um right right yeah you, you can't just let vigilante justice go on wait what just, i think all, i think they every just, yeah they no, 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 got, no, no. They got that's crazy they hold on i think every person who ever harms a child should be put to the death penalty legally yeah. but if you give oh, everyone carte blanche to go out and hunt pedophiles do you know how many millions of fucking people who aren't pedophiles are going to be fucking murdered yeah that's do you know how often well, literally wait, the, the fucking get... the courts get it wrong how there often are... like people who are falsely killed and well, like that's, for yeah. like like, yeah, that's so like the there, ultimate, there are ultimate, news ultimate stories. Ultimate cancel culture. Ultimate cancel Wait, culture is basically like mob. There are mob news stories that you can report on that would result in like expected some sort of vigilante justice or some sort of harassment happening. That doesn't mean you shouldn't report on the story. If there's somebody who was abusing their animals, or let's say like this happens in rape cases all the time, right now, you, you, like oh, yeah. because of the statute of limitations, uh, you could have somebody admit to being a rapist. Uh, but because yeah. it happened like 10 years ago, um, that means that person can't be prosecuted. Does that mean you shouldn't report on someone who has admitted to committing rape before? Like, even if no. uh, like there was some sort be, of person no, in your sure. audience who would commit vigilante justice, civilly. the victims can still, still get restitution. Yeah. Well, no, uh, there could, there can oh, still be statute daughter. of limitations. Here's some there. restitution. Yeah. Okay, buddy. Wait, wait, no, <laughs> well, no, I'm saying, wait, if. No, like your daughter was paid millions of dollars by being raped by a celebrity. Is that not better than not being paid millions of dollars? <laughs> it's uh, funny. Well, I think there's still statute of limitations. I give, I give anyone the right to rape me thing. for a million bucks. Look, I'll here's take the those thing. Here's the thing, right? We're talking about vigilante justice. If someone uh, were to do something to your daughter, realistically, whether it's legal or it's not legal, you are going. If you're the type who would go and kill him, you are going to go and fucking kill him. The question is, yes, and are you, you should go to caught? prison for murder. And, and look, listen, listen. If you're gonna do it. At least do it in a way where you won't get caught, right? Because the second that it gets involved with the fucking government, at that point, the government isn't going to fucking condone vigilante justice. Because why? Because the government has one group of people who has a monopoly on violence, and that's the fucking cops, okay? If you guys are uh, wrong. If you have they actually, forward. If you suddenly, actually, suddenly you, you have all these randoms you, who hey, are just hey, cops now. Man. 
Yeah, what's up? You actually can kill people who rape your children, and you get a very light sentence. Well, it depends on the judge. <laughs> <laughs> you know crazy. what? Ice, Ice Poseidon makes a point. There was a case, uh, I want to say it was in the 80s or 90s in Tennessee where... You still get jail. So, uh, well, there was a case in the 80s and 90s in Tennessee where some guy was caught, basically, or caught molesting a kid. For whatever reason, it didn't end up uh, panning out in court, but the dad still believed he did it, and the dad ended up gunning him down in front of the courthouse, and the dad ended up being acquitted. Uh, nothing happened to him. Nothing that happened to him yeah uh and that guy uh he's dead now but his son ended up getting an anime tattoo of his father on his arm uh in memorial that's, that's <laughs> I mean, cool there, there that's can cool. be mitigating circumstances to the length of a sentence but that doesn't mean you should like as long as you can prove to the judge that this dude raped your daughter like you're good like, also you listen know, hold yeah. on you should totally vote to depends. uh wait we're voting to keep not kick the last Unless round is over california so. or something dude there's Take nothing a, uh, wrong with killing uh, pedophiles, but there is something wrong with you deciding that you are the pedophile fucking Yeah, indicator. it's like, I yeah, would bro, tie him so down, and I would sodomize him. What? Okay. You'd what? rape a rapist? That's like uh, I would, I would put a, Samuel Jackson. I would rape the rapist with a big fucking pipe, and then I would cut his but dick But would you off. get caught? That's the yeah, real question. I don't, oh, yeah. I, I, I don't think there's a problem with getting okay, vigilante okay. justice in even of itself. It's just that whether it's promoted in society, you could lead to... Outcomes where innocent people are getting murdered. This so. dude's on the waiting list to be euthanized or something. Like, why are you how talking you feel, like that? How you feel morally is different to what you should do. Also, we have yeah. at the end, okay, Ice. Did Ice win the last round? I think he did, yeah. right? Yeah. All right. That means it goes to second place. Vegan Gains. You have to choose between kicking off Gokunaru or Kelly Jean. Yo, God bless. Kelly Jean. What okay. a surprise. <laughs> God bless. It's Thank the you, boys. Vegan. The boys are Thank right. you, bro. It was good for the last Get episode. Get that fucking gross you minge out of here. You can't go. What are you, a fucking virgin? What's wrong with you? Gross Thank minge. You, He'd rather fuck his cat. Let's Wait, no, go. No, hold on. Don't worry, Kelly. I'll oh, be your the DM. Sentient tub of lard. All right, fuck off. Don't care. You lost. Okay. Well, that was Kelly shouting herself out. Well. Wow. Congratulations. Now we're just with a bunch of dudes. You're a fucking. Welcome to the girl. sausage fest. Hey, don't you love gay tin? <laughs> Eyes, take your fucking shirt off. Show Not me your with any of you motherfuckers. You guys are you ugly as fuck. You fucking pussy. You got a fat dude, a mentally ill vegan guy, and then a fucking mentally ill fucking retard guy. I've <laughs> had a psychiatric oh, assessment. Yeah, I'm not mentally ill. Uh, I am. Was, was I they am. a vegan doctor? Yeah, okay, dude. Fuck off. No, wasn't a vegan doctor. Did you tell him that you think all you should have the right to kill everyone who eats meat? Uh, yeah, I'm, I did. I'm assuming you left that part out. No, I did. <laughs> fucking liar you dumb fuck no i did if you say that you immediately get fucking i was separate. diagnosed with antisocial personality oh, disorder but uh, the as far as mental you're illness completely now. mentally sound but you have antisocial disorder what the fuck are you talking yeah, that's about not a mental illness uh, all right well with that round out of the way you fucking chimp it's a mental illness it is a mental illness what copeland are you living in brother you're the least sociopath i've ever seen you can mute him you can mute him tom I'm going to start meeting people. I'm just a nice guy. With that right out of the way, I think it's time to move on to the next question. As all of you guys know, Dr. K is an extremely successful, popular streamer. And uh, over the years, he's received a lot of call-out videos from people like Mr. Girl, Slush, and most recently, Dr. Mike for a lot of things. The main criticism seems to come down to the idea that he hosts live quote unquote, not therapy sessions where he discusses people's psyche. He walks through their processes. He talks about how they feel. Uh, and obviously, you know, there have been people, not that it's his fault, but there have been people like Recful who have received therapy from him and ended up unfortunately passing away. And so the question is, do you think it's ethical, moral, right? Do you think it's okay to host a show like this where you're basically uh, analyzing someone's psyche live in front of an audience where everybody can see it? Or do you think it shouldn't be allowed? Uh, not, we're not going to say YouTube banning or anything like that. We're just going to say, do you think it's a good idea for this show to even exist? No, it's yeah, extremely it's harmful. No, no, no it's way. A good idea. Because so, it's a, what he's doing is illegal, and he can't give the advice he really needs to if he were to, because it's against the law to do so. What so fucking, it's fucked up. What are you a beta or something? I don't bro? think it's against the law. What do you mean I'm a beta? I think people it, it need mental people health. People who need help. No, no, no. It, that's what I'm therapy. saying. It doesn't. People can relate to. There are people who get help from an ice, but the, for example, listening sure. to that conversation, they can't afford sure. their own therapy. So it's helpful for the audience, too, you fucking weirdo. So yeah, here's the problem. Here's the main problem with Dr. K. Uh, the guy's a moron. If you watch the uh, debate that he had with Dr. Mike, he does not know what the fuck he's talking about. Like, he doesn't. He, he was uh, trying to explain that randomized trials are uh, a, a lower form of evidence 
than just personal experiments done on an individual. Uh, he, like, the guy just fundamentally doesn't understand what a randomized trial is, what the value of a, a randomized trial is, how medicine is conducted. Like, the guy's a quack, and anybody who's receiving advice from him are, are Wait a second, probably... hold on, wait, I gotta ask a clarifying question. Hold on, Dr. Mike, the physician guy on YouTube said that? Yeah. Well, no, no, Dr. Mike didn't call him a quack. Or no, 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 wait, wait, did he say, did he say that... Did he say that clinical studies, like individual like case studies, are more important than double blind studies, or that like different studies let you? No, no. So uh, Dr. K was saying that we should have. This is what he literally said: we should have randomized trials on single individuals rather than on groups of people. That makes no sense because you can't randomize a single person to two different groups, one being like a placebo or a control group and one being uh, the treatment group. So he doesn't even fundamentally understand what a randomized trial even is. So like this guy who's giving uh, like mental health advice, I do not trust him at all. Uh, somebody who's saying things like that, uh, who just fundamentally doesn't understand the science, they're completely untrustworthy. So I don't have an ethical issue with Dr. K hosting these shows where he gives, you know, not technically medical advice to people on these live shows. My problem is just with Dr. K. He's not the one who should be doing it. Do you think that, wait, did Dr. K literally say that these studies would be better or was it a broader argument of like, um, I'm only guessing because I've heard him speak in the past, but I've heard this video. Was it a broader argument of like, we have to stop looking at mental health as like 72% of people have this and 62% of these comorbidities and 24%, but rather taking a more like top down, like comprehensive approach of an individual rather than just looking at a broad data set of you, people? You need to watch the, the full interview. It's hard to go over, but okay. he, All right. I'll watch it. I think I want to get back. Yeah, basically the gist of it was he has a problem with how medicine and medical research is con conducted today. He was saying that there is an issue with uh, randomized trials not being personalized enough to the individual. And he was actually advocating for Ayurvedic medicine, which isn't actual medicine. It's, it, it's just a religious belief because it personalizes treatment to the individual with no uh, interest to things like randomized trials where you actually see if a treatment group gets a better effect than a placebo group. Uh, he, he actually believes that just doing a personalized experiment on one single individual is more valuable in medicine than a randomized trial, which is insane. I, I would never trust anybody like that to give medical advice. Uh, I think it really boils down to the fact that you know, he's trying to do a good thing and there are people who benefit from what he's doing. But when you were talking about the people who can afford the therapy, maybe he should focus on those people. But still, uh, the way he tries to treat a lot of his issues, like he was uh, being games, just talking with the the entire I don't even know what you would call it, like fucking meditation medicine or yeah. some shit versus going to someone who can uh, actually diagnose you and actually treat you. Uh, because they have the legal capability to do so, versus doing this online pseudo medical science bullshit. Um, and I the people you agreed with me though. How's it bullshit? I think he's doing good for some people, but it's not like it's the best option. He's definitely harming others, and, and he's I acting guess. like it's How, the best he's not option. Harming anyone? He is, what are you fucking talking because about? Because there's he a has people stated? that has his issue that have issues that he can't diagnose, that he can't treat correctly. The way he's trying yeah. to treat it is through stuff that's not supported in modern medicine at all. Like these Who breathing techniques fuck? and shit. Like, what do you mean? I'm trying to he's say this higher than What do you mean? Who the fuck cares? better than modern medicine. Uh, he Look, said that uh, meditation it, is more effective yeah. than I, drug therapy. Talks like he wants to kill himself every five seconds. I listen to K, Dr. K all the time, and I look at how fucking I turned out. I'm perfectly fine. My brain is completely intact, okay? I think I don't, Dr. K is a very insightful individual. I think he's a decent guy. And I, I think agree. You're fucking, you're, what are you saying? I think he's I'm an confused. opportunity. I, I don't think his the way he tries to fix people is the right way to do it. I think he's using pseudoscience bullshit versus what's but, tried and true okay. and been... No, no. Like, I, I think Dr. K is like an that. opportunist. The way he promotes Ayurveda, which is a unique treatment that, you know, he's one of the few people... Who, uh, in his field that's recommending and he gives these uh, paid courses on, I think it's all a grift and he is propping Explain. up Ayurvedic treatment as What's if it's Ayurveda? better than modern medicine because he's making money and profiting off Sorry, of it when what, it's what, not necessarily what, the best type of treatment. What's Ayurvedic treatment? 
You sound it, jealous, it's uh, you know, it's basically here. Indian spiritual woo woo bullshit. Oh, where you bro, meditate he, and bro, he like, literally, bro, I don't, dude. He literally prefaces by saying like, this is more of like a mindfulness thing. This isn't a fucking like, you yeah, because cure he, your cancer. Well, yeah, wait, because he he'll legally say can't, that. He can't he'll say that, but then he'll claim Ayurveda is more effective than modern medicine. So like taking wait, an SSRI. But do you understand that there's there's ways to mitigate without medicine, right? Like it's not about curing. It's about that. Like, that's not the issue. That's not the issue he claims ayurveda is a more effective treatment than other forms of modern uh, medical treatment so like taking an Wait, ssri for instance we're getting psychotherapy that? he he might have stated like you before you try to get on an ssri which can actually genuinely have a very real negative impact on you if you react poorly to it that you should try these like more you know kind and of the, wait that's so fine can what wait, he's wait 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 that's fine effects. dude that's fine if you're right. saying you should try yeah. meditation because it has no downsides and it has possible upsides that is fine for him to say what isn't fine is for him to say uh meditation should be the frontline treatment it is more effective than that. any other modern medical treatment for treating yeah, he mental health or depression. You're just you're just he did he does he, he absolutely does well, you're wrong. I, I, every single no, one of his uh his, I would his love interviews to hear that quote. So you're Wait, saying that everyone um, Mr. Has his Mr. Girl, I, I I think Mr. Girl is the one who made the video where he actually showed the clip in his video okay. where Dr. K was saying Ayurvedic treatments are more effective than any other uh, modern medical treatment for treating mental health. Just as a and quick thing, hold on. Just as a quick thing, having much more just as a quick thing with Ayurveda. I haven't. Okay, hold on. I have not watched the show, the most recent one. So unless he says something crazy, I've never heard before. But every statement I've heard of Dr. K in the past is usually saying that for some patients on some conditions, Ayurvedic treatment can work better than modern medication. I've never heard him say as a blanket, Ayurvedic treatment is better than modern medicine. I've never heard him say as a blanket that like for this condition, Ayurveda is better than modern medicine. Medicine, he's usually always qualifying this for, for some exactly patients, for some patients, saying. for some conditions wait, in his personal practice. That's yeah. a problem he's a within itself. Guy. He's careful because though. He's not supposed to be diagnosing and treating, yet he is. Whoa, doing whoa, whoa, hold on. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. He, wait, wait. He is literally, my understanding is he's literally a physician. So his job, his prior job was literally diagnosing and treating people. But right? he also yeah, but what he's doing right now, he's not. What he's doing right now isn't diagnosing people. So he has to he has to like jump around all these weird loopholes to not get in legal trouble. No, I don't think it's a legal trouble or loophole thing. I think you can say, I think it's an okay. Okay, broad statement. Like, here's something I'm confident I can even say broadly. If you have something like depression, for some people, literally exercise and diet changes might be more effective than just taking yeah, an SSRI, right? depending yeah. on how it's affecting you, right? He just does this, except for with way more different stuff, right? Right. Like, he's not he's not diagnosing yeah, but anybody he, online. He's, he push, the, he's pushing this treatment that then he then benefits off of by yeah, showing. Yeah, well, well show, hold on. Like, wait. Yeah, he does benefit. Wait, wait. Bro. He does <laughs> benefit off of it. But anybody pushing a particular thing, especially if this is part of their work, is probably going to benefit from it, right? Yeah. Yeah. Like on the other end of this conversation, you have got Dr. Mike, who is a physician who, if he goes back to his practice, is prescribing ordinary medication. I mean, he benefits off of pharmaceutical, you know, prescriptions, theoretically. So, I mean, like anybody Should talking about- Should we just have any incentive to prescribe one medicine or the you, other? You need- well, you need to watch the Dr. What? Mike. Uh, he's going to benefit regardless. He's gonna, he's gonna I, I understand, but it's like, I think that you have to be careful not to put the okay, cart before the horse benefits. because the, I, at the right. conversation. No, it's the way in which he benefits. He's benefiting exclusively on the one form of medicine that he's promoting to be better than other Yeah, but the way. question he's is, calling, but you, you, could, be, you could be putting, medicine, you could be, you could, could be putting the cart, medicine. hold on. You could be putting the cart before the horse where you're saying that like, oh, he's only pushing this because, you know, it's beneficial to him. Well, maybe the reason why he pushes it or why it's beneficial is because he thought that it was really good. He's not saying it's good because it benefits him he started doing it because he thought it was really good and now yeah. he's also pushing it like that makes yeah. sense right usually people who aren't like business Maybe. first fucking sociopaths they the, the easiest time they'll have advertising things is when they actually believe in what they're advertising right so like is the argument that he's cynically doing this and just scamming people or is the argument that he's misguided and that you know it's well, not even if he's doing it, i think he's only doing, doing a legal practicing sense and to do it in what? this like broad uh who the kind of you speaker to say way that? and if he's doing it well, just what? what's your proof what's dr your proof? a the law if you watch the, the if you watch does, the Dr. Mike, can, Dr. K, he can uh, diagnose and prescribe, except it does. I if you watch the Dr. Mike, Dr. K debate, he is not breaking. If you watch the Dr. Mike, Dr. K debate, Dr. K constantly undermines modern line, medicine law, and what claims the, Ayurveda what? doesn't have these problems. Uh, Ayurveda doesn't have you know the these like uh, fundamental issues that modern medicine has. He constantly right. tries to talk about Ayurveda as though it's better than modern medicine. When you're talking. You need Ayurveda. to watch the Dr. Mike, Dr. K debate. When you're talking about Ayurveda, you're talking about the the Hindu like practices that he. It's like the yeah. meditations, right? The meditations. 
Okay, so well, well it's more be... than just meditation. It also involves diet. It also involves like okay. certain spiritual practices. I think we like should that. give doctors that sounds the not right bad at all. to diagnose and treat medically on the internet. I think okay. we should give them fucking the right to do so. Then okay. we'd have opposing views. So wait, then you well, they trying can. to so push wait, their wait, yoga. You would sooner promote better health. Well, you would sooner you promote can. better health. They're, they're, over... yeah, yeah, you, I, I've done this before. I've been diagnosed by a doctor over the internet with um, like have. Skype or Zoom calls. You can do that as long as they're a patient of yours. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. But just right. get rid of the patient barrier. Just well, uh, let it be skewed out there just like Dr. K does to 10,000 people. No, no, no. I understand what you're saying. I'm saying let it be. Let let the reach be infinite. Let them let them just go live. Anyone who says there's a problem, write them a prescription, email it to them instantly. There's not this fucking barrier to appointments right. and and having being technically a patient. Let them fucking diagnose and treat well, everyone. Listen, listen. We're gonna let Doctor K do it. Let all doctors do it. Well, well, Why are we wait, only hold on, wait, 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 Doctor K? Let me, him do it if only technically his medicine crap. isn't something bro. that has to be a patient to be fucking. Given. Wait, hold on, wait, 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 stop. Wait, hold on, wait, no, wait, 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 hold on. Jesus fucking Christ, it's fucking retarded. Okay, medicine that doesn't mean anything okay you're talking about yes, doctors being able to give like scheduled drugs as yes. of by the dea or whatever okay dr yep. k is not giving prescribing a Never. scheduled drug to anybody in his audience so to this say oh doctors should be able to prescribe Bro. scheduled drugs and think about it's it this unfair. way think about it's it this unfair. way all other doctors, oh doctors. Hey, all please. other doctors please. should be able to go hey, there any doctor can go out any Listen doctor right now any doctor any doctor any doctor can publicly any doctor can publicly prescribe something that's not scheduled you're gonna need a prescription point it's over Where's the your data? Yo, Destiny, okay. listen to me. Listen to me. The the big thing that I view Dr. K as, and I think Destiny would understand this viewpoint, is that would you rather like okay, but what you're basically saying is that Dr. K is like self-help therapy. Up. Which is true. Listen, but Shut would you rather up. have would you rather have kids looking at fucking Dr. K who is actually a fucking doctor? I'd rather actually you go on Dr. Educated. K's show get no West, and shut the fuck up. You're yourself. gonna get muted. You're gonna get muted. Shut up. Or, I muted you, Tom. Or would you rather fucking have yeah, literally Andrew Tate funneling them into a fucking uh, hustlers university where they're not gonna get any kind of fucking like <laughs> How actual are those mitigation? Terrible, bro. Massively. What do you mean? Those bro, things have a one-to-one overlap. What do you mean? How are they comparable? People are alienated, one, and wait, that's one, people are a, alienated. Wait, hold on, hold on. Why, Let me explain they why they're different. Wait, go, go finish your thing. Oh my God, okay. Wes yeah, is yeah, yapping yeah. so hard. Listen, go. people, listen. Why does anybody look up therapy content or like Andrew Tate self help content? Okay, the answer is because they feel fucking alienated. Something's up with their life, so they took the initiative to like look something up, and they're letting someone whisper into their ear what they fucking actually should do. Sure. Okay. Would you rather have a guy with a fucking actual degree? Which, by the way, I am not like the most fucking respecting of people with degrees. It's not an automatic pass. But Dr. K says this shit publicly. You can criticize whatever he says. Yeah. But would you rather have that guy have an audience or whatever and sell a fucking course, or a fucking guy who's Completely I would rather have the doctor well, do it, but here's it's the still problem. problematic here's because the, problem. the power dynamic comes from him having this degree yeah, and therefore exactly. believing, oh, he's a doctor, therefore whatever he says exactly. is fucking gold. Exactly. Okay, if but like, once again, we get back to the fact that Andrew Tate fact. isn't a doctor. He doesn't have legitimacy in this space. When Dr. K gives out misinformation or uh, gives out misle uh, misleading information, uh, He's a qualified doctor, so that comes right. with a lot more weight than and Andrew it, Tate saying something. And the, right. really, much no, more misled Gaines, by Dr. Vegan K. Gaines, why do you feel that you're more qualified than Dr. K, who's a licensed Andrew Tate physician? Whatever well, is. look, um, I'm not more qualified to diagnose things like mental illness than him, but I know for a fact Isn't what, what he's, he does? a lot of what he's saying is just complete nonsense. Whether Wait, he's why a doctor do you think or not. he's trying to say that he's more qualified just for, because he's pushing back on his tactics? Uh, I don't necessarily. I'm just questioning if you guys are in a position to even have an opinion on such a complicated issue. Wait, you I have to be a medical doctor to think a medical no, doctor might be doing boring. something wrong? Bro. Do I mean, you think? If a you medical think so? doctor I'm, started no. uh, diagnosing snake venom because it was the most fucking but, profitable but, thing but and he came up with snake venom, extreme like am that. I I'm not like logical listen, to have a problem with that? When no, I it's listen, not an extreme because he's using made up fucking fairy medicine. By the way, yeah, there, there, exactly there are medical doctors. Like, what the there fuck? are medical he's doctors no, he's who also, promote ivermectin, who claim COVID yeah, exactly. isn't a problem, yeah, or anti-vaxxers. So just because you're a med medical doctor, that doesn't mean you're right all the I time. Agree. I agree. Normal people can criticize you. Right, but w the crux of this is w how much damage is he actually doing? You're claiming that he is stating that the Hindu, what, what, what exactly is the claim? The Hindu fucking like uh, meditations is absolutely like more effective and more immediately effective than like uh, a drug or whatever. Like he's Kokonaru, have you ever been he... to India? No. 
It's awful. You would understand. Okay. Yeah, India sucks. I hate that place. Okay, but wait, what's the correlation here? Because meditation, I mean, I don't know. I don't do it. Dr. K is Indian. India is the here, here's the fundamental. Oh, oh, so Gokunaru. Gokunaru. Anyway, go on. Yeah. Gokunaru. Here's the fundamental problem. It, it's fine for Dr. K to promote meditation or some other form of Ayurvedic treatment. So long as, you know, it doesn't cause harm. Uh, most of the things he's uh, promoting are don't cause harm and they have p potential benefits. The right. problem is that he's acting as though these treatments are more effective than standard medical practices. And, okay, and on top of that, he tries claiming. to acting undermine he tries to undermine the current medical system constantly. Wait, wait does he, he criticize his interview or does he with undermine? Dr. Mike? Does he criticise or does he undermine, right? Like, both. Is he both. He tries but, to but undermine. Do you not and, think, and he tries to do prop up Ayurveda it as though it, it's it would make sense what? for a doctor to criticize the medical field, like to have their own kind of opinions. You know what I mean? It's not like who's who's the well. If you look at his criticism, it's fucking nonsense. The guy doesn't even understand what a randomized trial is. That's the problem. Ten seconds. He's just not a trustworthy what individual. But, but what doctors need to know statistics? Statistics is randomized trials. That's not a doctor thing. And well, the round. Randomized we are at the end an of end. the round, and holy shit, it's the double elimination one. So vote for who you want to keep, not kick. Okay. And then the last Please. two left are going to be our final. I'll show you Contestants. I'll show you my fucking eye. Uh. What is on your face, Gokunara? What, what, what Wait, are these uh, glowing up. things? Oh, something's glowing on my face. I just want to one v one the vegan dude. I, yeah, I need that's... to destroy this man. Uh. Do you think? Do you think you could take him in a fight? You'll get your finale. Uh, maybe not a fight, but an, oh, intellect, an intellectual battle. Yes. I've got okay. Tom to answer your question. It's, I think you're talking about the pus that probably came when I fucking undid the bandage before it was premature. Yeah. I think what people should do instead of this IRA medic medicine is gamble. I think that's the best medicine. See, now we can agree on gambling topic. is actually self therapy. Well, by the we way, Dr. Agree. K promoted a method of scientific research that could validate any treatment. He was claiming that if you study single individuals and you blah, see blah, a beneficial blah, treatment blah, effect, blah, that blah, validates the, the cares, treatment, blah, which is blah, insane. You're a fucking moron. Blah blah. You, you don't even understand what I'm fucking saying. You're an idiot. I don't need to understand, buddy. You're uh, yeah, you know, shit yeah, exactly. comes out of your mouth. You're an I'm fucking bored. All right. Like it was a. Uh, he was slightly less retarded. It was a close one, but it looks like our top two are vegan gains and ice Poseidon for the final round. All right, boys. God bless. Love you, Gokunaro. Shout yourself out. On. Yeah, yeah. Check out my channel, Gokunaro. I upload a Sneeko video, which I genuinely think is worth your time. And I have merch that I'm wearing. It's gokamerch.com. God bless. It's sick designs. Thank you guys for having me on. That was fucking fun as hell. Ice Poseidon, nothing personal. Vegan gains. Good luck. God bless you guys. Thank you. See you at family dinner. Wes, do you want to show yourself out? Wes, BW on kick. I'll give you the medicine you need. Uh, have fun. Good luck, boys. Love you. Bye. Well, right. well, well. Look who it is. Well, with, with that in mind, we have our final question. I think it's something you guys will probably have a little bit of contention on. The question is, should people be allowed to gamble on stream is a net negative on society? Should we encourage that? How do you guys feel? Wait, really? Uh, I like the course. other question. What do you mean? Why not? What's the other question? Uh, the, other question the, other the, other, the other question is, who is the worst content creator? Who is the creator worst content creator? Who's done the most damage with our content creation on the internet? Okay. I have no idea. Honestly, I, I think Vegan Games has done the most damage. He's convincing teenage bodybuilders to be a vegetarian. So in 10 years, when they've got no gains and their life is already gone. Oh, I have no gains, huh? I have got no gains? Dude, I can bench like 400 pounds. Dude, but... you're fat. Oh, I have no gains. Not even muscle. You're literally fat. Oh, right. I, I guess the fat's bench the 400 off. pounds. Take the shirt right. off. No, you can sub to my OnlyFans if you want to see me with my shirt off. You have off. an OnlyFans? Yeah, of course you do, you fucking beast. Yeah, you, you can see me. You, if you want to see me with my shirt off, you can sub to my OnlyFans. Bro, I remember watching okay, but you anyway. when I was like 17. I'm like, who the fuck's going to be a bodybuilder and vegan? What kind of nonsense What was the, that? What was the first question too. again? Is gambling okay? Should we allow people oh, to gamble yeah. on stream or should so, that be banned or unethical? Or whatever? I, I would say as long as it's like age restricted or it, uh, yeah, I'd say as long as it's age restricted for uh, people who are like, say, over 18. Uh, nah, I mean, that's kind of whack though, dude. I was gambling on RuneScape when I was like 14. Okay, that but doesn't I turned out just mean fine. it's a good thing. <laughs> you ever heard of the flower game? Yeah, buddy? the the issue uh, is a lot of younger kids can develop an addiction uh, very early on that they don't necessarily have any control over, whereas an adult can make like a more informed decision. You ever heard of like what's the saying like the strongest last or something? If you're gonna get addicted to gambling, that's really on you. Uh, oh, you know, okay, like well, could you say that with any, you, you know, could like say that with survive. anything? 
You could say, so do you think kids should be able to, like, consume fentanyl? If they want, yeah, why not? Okay, so you think, like, a 10-year-old should be able to consume fentanyl? I mean, fentanyl. I think all drugs should be legal because Right, it's and available to crime. everybody, if so, like, if a 10-year-old wants that's to try you fentanyl... And you're a fucking idiot, so that's not... And that's right, not so if a 10-year-old wants to try fentanyl, they're just stupid. If yeah, they get they're pretty... To I mean, I, when I was 10, oh, I didn't okay. want to do fentanyl. I didn't want to do fucking drugs when I was 10. Okay. I, I see where this is going. Why do I need somebody to police my decisions? I don't need anybody to police that. I don't want to take fucking drugs. Do I want to go smoke crack and do heroin? No. Why the okay. fuck would I do that? Okay, so did you ever, like, have sex with, like, I don't know, a 40-year-old when you were 10? Not when I was 10. Yeah, not when you were 10. So do you think, like, since kids can make decisions like whether or not they should be able to gamble or whether or not they should take drugs, should they also be allowed to choose their sexual partners? Uh, sexual partners, no, because that's, like, a more, like, PTSD kind of thing, but, like, gambling and drugs and stuff, whatever, dude, if they want to uh, do it. Gambling let, let and drugs it. can't cause PTSD or ruin your life, but having, having sex can. Well, okay. there's a difference. You're not going to get raped gambling. Well, this seems like a little bit of a weird double standard, so if you're, uh, if said, you you're have... you're not going to get raped gambling. You only get raped gambling if you make the first move over and over. If a... Four-year-old uh, okay. guy comes over, he holds you down and fucks you in the ass. What are you gonna uh, do? Okay, so you can't get taken advantage of when you're gambling when you're fucking ten years old, but or like a drug dealer who's I mean, selling you fucking fentanyl. Yeah. That's not, yeah, that's not taking advantage of a younger person, but having sex with them is. That's a bit of a weird double standard, yeah, don't you think? The forty-year-old. No, 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 no. You just don't want to be the guy. Who, you just don't want to be the guy on the internet who said, "Oh yeah, ten-year-olds can fuck forty-year-olds, whatever." That's the only reason you're fucking saying this. This what makes no saying, fucking sense. Dude, I'm explaining my reason. Yeah, you, you don't want to be the guy. Me. You don't want to be the guy who bites the bullet on fucking pedophilia. That's you the only reason say, you're fucking so you're saying. You're ignoring that. my reasoning. Yeah, yeah, cool, edgy bullshit. I'm a nihilist. Whatever. Uh -huh. it's not edgy. When I was 14. No, I was that's edgy gambling. bullshit. Yeah, that's edgy bull. Great. Well, you're you're just saying you're just spouting edgy bullshit for the How sake of it. How is that edgy it. bullshit? I literally am telling you what I did in my life. Well, that's great. That doesn't mean. Uh -oh. Other kids should be doing that. I'm sorry that you live a fucking boring life uh -huh. and never did anything fun. But, you know, I've done fun things and I turned out just fine. Uh, you imagine being literally a said vegan, you'd, dude, your you'd, life must you suck. literally said you'd let your child die if it would save your no, own no. life. I wouldn't let my child die. If I was going to die, I would throw him first as a shield. That's different. Yeah, but you turned out fine. Yeah, I turned out fine. What do you mean? Uh huh. There's, I'm never going to be in that hypothetical situation where I must sacrifice my child because I don't put myself in those situations. And I have an M13 Beretta, so I'll annihilate somebody who even attempts to put me in that situation. Do you know what uh, an M13 Beretta is? Yeah, it's uh, it's like an AR, right? It's not an AR. It's a shotgun. Oh, uh, okay. Semi-automatic shotgun. I'll turn them to dust. Okay, nice. So do you carry that wherever you go? Where Was that with you in Thailand? Is that why the police were scared of you? No, the, I, it's only in my house, but... Oh, no. so if I catch you on the fucking street, you're fucked then. That's fine. You might beat me in a fight. What is it? Wait, hold on. Uh, What's the name of this shotgun? Did you say an M13 Beretta? Yes. Are you just making that up, or...? No, it's... Look it up. I, Let me look that up. I don't think... I don't know if that's a real gun, but... Okay. Maybe it is. Oh, he means M1301. Oh, never mind. Okay. Either way, um, vegan gains. You live a boring life. You're very depressed. You're sitting in a poverty chair that you got from Goodwill, and you're trying to come at me. Well, I got this from Leon. The way you think. I mean, at the end of the day, who are people going to believe? The guy sitting in an attic or a guy sitting in the only use me blade Buddy, chair? Buddy, you're a fucking twink. Uh, the only thing you can do to like protect yourself is you know, have a shotgun in your fucking home. Yo, what's up, baby? <laughs> oh what you got? Uh -huh. What you uh -huh. got? I'm a twink. Again, you like you can that? Start, hey, you, you like can show your body for free out. if you want, but I have an OnlyFans. Woo, look at that. Look at that striation, baby. You like that, huh? Uh-huh. Yeah, now, that's what great. you got? You won't even show me because you're fat. Uh, no, I won't show you because I got an OnlyFans and I make money off it. Oh, yeah, you make a bunch, what, a bunch of gay dudes? Yeah, mostly. Yeah, I mean, it's a very sad life, man. I'm sorry. I don't know what's sad about it. You're doing OnlyFans for gay dudes, being a vegan. Well, That's there's the women worst too. life I could ever imagine. Well, how do you guys um, feel about OnlyFans? Do you think OnlyFans is a net negative on society, or is that cool? No, nah. it's a net negative to society, but who cares? The oh, OnlyFans is a net negative, but you know, allowing to, uh, ten year olds to gamble and take fentanyl—that's fine.
Listen, they have parents for a reason, okay? Uh-huh. If the kid wants to take fentanyl, uh-huh. it's just, here, you know, the, the, what, what, the strongest survive, whatever. Here's fucking, the contradiction. Get the fuck out of here. Like, you don't want stupid children to grow older and be stupid adults, right? Get rid of the stupid children, and then when, the, when they're adults, there's only smart people left. You feel me? Okay, so how about I take your shotgun and uh, blow you away before you can have fucking kids that are stupid? Believe you it or not, I think the I'm problem. the smarter one in this conversation between the two of us. Uh, no, you've literally said that it's okay for 10-year-olds to gamble, do drugs, and, uh, what, you're also going on about... I can't even fucking remember. Oh my god. I mean, you're just that guy who's pretending to be smart by saying a bunch of shit that nobody gives a fuck about. Uh, no, I'm that guy who is smart, and when I talk, you just don't understand what I'm fucking saying. You know, you think you're smart, it's subjective. You must also be a narcissist. No, uh, I don't think intelligence is subjective. Like, that's, that's something you can objectively yeah. quantify. Intelligence is literally subjective. No, you guys doing in school? Did you guys both do well in school? Or I got straight Fs. Oh, no, I, I didn't give a fuck in school. I, I just passed, and that's it. Interesting. Huh. So can you, ice, can you, can you ice, say why do you anything think you're that does make person? you sound sad? What? Why do you think you're a smart person? Well, I think I'm pretty smart because I have good critical thinking skills. And yeah, 10-year-olds should do fentanyl. <laughs> You're missing the point, skills. dude. I'm saying the government should control what people do. If the child wants to do fentanyl, it's up to the parents to make sure they don't do fentanyl. And then have a conversation. Oh, why do you want to do fentanyl? Here, maybe take a little bit so you see that it's not good for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's what my parents did. When I smoked a cigarette when I was like 12, my parents gave me a pack of cigarettes and they made me smoke the whole pack. Do you think, do you think like, a cigarette is as bad as fentanyl? Yeah. Why? Because you still die. I don't think when you smoke a cigarette, I think you're way more likely to die from. I, it doesn't even have to do with dying. This is just a stupid comparison. If you if you smoke a cigarette, there are like immediate negative physical things that make cigarettes unenjoyable for people. I don't think the same exists for fentanyl. When you if you do like an opiate, if you do a big downer like that, it'll probably just make you like feel chill and good. It's not. They're not okay, gonna be like, personally. oh yeah, cool. Oh man, wow, I'm so like calm and chill right now. Like thanks for making me do this, parents. Like that's a lot different than smoking well, a you, fucking you pack got, of cigarettes. You got the wrong idea. I guess I would give enough fentanyl to my child where they would overdose, and then I hit them with the Narcan. Okay, there you go. That's better. It makes more sense. It's consistent, at least. Yeah. So you don't think the government should step in if, like, uh, if a co- if a child is being like molested by their father? You don't think somebody should step in? Like, the oh yeah, the like, government should that? step in. What do you mean? If you're being raped by your dad, yeah, that's different. So what if your dad is making you smoke fentanyl and you're nine years old? You don't think the government should step in? Well, it's up to the nine-year-old to tell to double tell somebody standard. that their parents are abusing them. Yeah, double standard. Well, well, why do you have a standard? When, I, I don't know what kind of nine-year-old you were, buddy, but when I was nine years old, if I if something happened to me that I did not enjoy... When I was, I was nine years old, I almost killed another fucking nine-year-old. I, uh, If you watch Turkey Tom's documentary, I almost threw a fucking kid off a three-story fucking balcony, and I almost shot him with a bow and arrow, so... Yeah, maybe you should watch the fuck out. What are you, like, five foot three? I'm not scared of you, buddy. No, I'm six three. Oh, are you? All right, well, I'll give you that. I'm still not scared of you, though. And that hairy chest of yours. Oh, yeah, you better be scared. <laughs> Come on, show me a little more. I'll show you just how gay I am. Yeah, I mean, I would love to see that. You don't know anything about my gay tent. Oh, I bet. How many dicks have been in your vicinity, naked? Uh, not too many. Like, uh, you know, at school, swim team, got a shower. But, you know, other than that... I had a 65-year-old man suck my dick when I was 18 years old. He took my oh. virginity. Well, uh, I'm proud was of Was it you. good? No. <laughs> Do you regret it? Mm, no. I lost my With virginity character. when I was yeah. 16 to uh Can't stay mad model, at Grandpa so forever, right? I think I, I think I beat you there. You said what? You're a model? No, I lost my virginity when I was 16 to a fitness model, so I think I beat you there. Better than a 60-year-old dude. Yeah, I lost mine to a fucking old man, but I'm still winning that life. What's up? Hey, man. All right. Money is everything. We, I think we've, uh, we've probably have gone over... Friends. I have my health. I have a lot of things. I cut the timer by five minutes. We got a minute and 50 left. Don't worry. <laughs> okay, okay. Well, who, which one of you should win? You which one of you? Conversation? Which one? No, this conversation this is, this ass. Is, which which one of you guys this, deserves to win? All right, let's talk about veganism some more. Let's talk. Oh, which yeah, one? let's talk. This guy who has no muscle is talking shit about me not being able to build muscle on a vegan diet when, bro, 
like, I'm I used to be a bodybuilder when I was 18. And I did boxing last year and got oh, like cool. 30 pounds of muscle. I know how to be a bodybuilder, dude. My, whole, lost, my parents though. are bodybuilders growing up. You, you yeah, lost. Y- you lost. And Oof. we can tell. Yeah, you definitely know how to be a bodybuilder. Oof. I do know how to be a bodybuilder. Yeah, well, then Why where's are you doing the fucking it? games, like, dude? I'm where's the fucking game? How much do you bench? Look at this. How much do you bench? Uh, right yeah, how now, much do you bench? Uh, probably 145. Zero, nothing. 145. Okay, so my best bench has been 380 for one at max. And Congratulations. I, did I don't work out anymore. When session. I worked out, it was 225. Okay, that's still uh, not too good. Yeah, I think I still outrank you here. My overhead press was 225 also. My that's my best point. overhead press was 240, so I think I still outrank you here. Who has the bigger cock? Well, well you can sub to my OnlyFans to find out. You can't make a All case right. to the audience, Vegan Gains? Well, what I'm an mean? ectomorph, so we don't really lift a lot of a lot of heavy weight, but we look really good aesthetically. Okay. I don't know what that has to do with your penis. Seems like he's trying to change the topic. I I. I, I think 15 seconds, said. guys. Wow. Can, good job. I mean, I good back a, and forth. Yeah, I have a giant penis. You want to see it? Like, <laughs> Mine's a grower, not a shower, so I'm not yeah, terribly whatever, aroused right now. <laughs> it's, it's hard to even talk to this guy. He just sounds so depressed. I literally want to kill myself by proxy. Wow, guys. That was just an amazing final. I'm so glad we had... I, yeah, I'm glad. that. I'm glad that we're at the end. Vote for the winner of Keeper Kick, guys. It's in chat. Here you go. The winner gets a host from your truly and a hundred uh hundred gifted subs, five hundred dollars worth of gifted subs. Oh, I thought you said a hundred K, dude. Well, it, we were doing it. We're paying it an ice coin. So between the start of the show and now, it unfortunately decreased in value from a hundred K to a hundred dollars. Go figure. But... Dude, no, I, bro, I swear to God, you said a hundred K. That's crazy. You guys fucking, you you juked me into this. I didn't say That's that. Fine, I'll take a hundred gifted subs. That's fine. I don't know who said that. It Good luck. Me. Vote hard. Okay. It's a close poll. Vote on the straw poll, gang. <clears throat> Do you have any How are you guys feeling? How was your yeah, day, Ice Poseidon? What are you up to? I voted for myself. What did I do today? Absolutely nothing. I am I just waited for maids to come clean the house. And uh, I, I don't know. I'm going to go fucking on a date later, I guess. Aww. What's your next big project? I don't know yet. I mean, I got to think about it. I just got back from Japan a couple of days ago, so I'll probably... I took my uh, kitties for a walk in the park. Home. I find that so perplexing that you walk a cat. I've never heard of anyone walking a cat before. Yeah, plenty of people walk their cats. Yeah, dumbass. I don't. I just don't believe that plenty of people walk their cat. I feel like I've known a lot of people with cats, and I've never heard of any of them walking Did a you cat. see him walk his cats? Bro, no. this dude's body... You didn't do that when you did the Ain't fucking no documentary? This guy has no fans. What are you talking about? Who likes this guy? Well, apparently your apparently your fans aren't in chat right now. Damn, bro, they are. Are you reading the chat? What are you talking about? This guy has literally no fans. Then why is he winning? Is he gonna win the straw poll? What's the yeah, deal? Yeah, he's fucking because I'm yourself, uh, so based. Oh my god, I'm seeing 101 percent of the votes for him. That's uh, the straw poll is going crazy right now. That's fine. You know what? You can win at this vegan games. You got to win somewhere. Oh, I win uh, plenty of places. I won the lot. Did I win the last one or the one before? Um, I don't remember actually. Did he win the? Oh no, no, Gokunara won the last one, right? Yeah, I don't think I was on the last kicker keep, yeah. but the one before. Fuck you, vegan games. Well, listen. Everybody says that. You guys uh, both fought hard. You both fought well. But Vegan Gains is walking away. The clear winner here. Congratulations. <laughs> damn it. Yes. Fuck, it man. Fun. God damn it. W Riz, oh. Vegan Gains. That's yeah. fine. <laughs> you can have it. Take the win. This is all you're going to get. Ice, do you have any uh, final closing thoughts, parting words, new coins, or anything you want to shout out? Uh, hmm. Yeah, I'm making this new Destiny coin. <laughs> Nope, that's all. All right, I guess. I mean, all right. You guys know where to find me. Thank you for having me on. Goodbye. Vegan Gains, eat my dick. Bye. Well, apparently you can find 60-year-old dudes to do that for you. So Damn you pass. Wow. Vegan Gains, how do you feel about your win? How'd that go? Uh, You know, I can't say I'm surprised.
if I were tired of you. can't say you're surprised. Yeah. You expected this going into it, that you would win the entire thing? What do you think? Yeah, I had a, I had a good feeling, especially since Ice is here. Uh, everybody hates him, so. Okay, gotcha. I thought he was entertaining at the least. I think that's the only reason yeah, he made he was the last round. He was funny. Yeah. He'll he say what no one else will. Wow. Oh my god. Well, W wow. Riz. Are you streaming on Kick? Do you have a Kick stream? You do, right? No, uh, I'm on YouTube. Oh my fucking god. How am I? I can't host you. You oh, can well. just spam spam the link to his thing in the chat. Oh, okay. Um, I'll probably just end up throwing the host towards Ice then. Oh, Ice isn't streaming either. You guys all fucking suck. Oh my god. I'm streaming. I'm streaming. On Kick? On YouTube. <laughs> on YouTube. Yeah. Good one. Dipshit. You guys are haters, okay? Um, yeah, and right. uh, you can just send me the 500 to my Do PayPal you have to go or, right now? Or, um, I can stay for like three or four minutes if you want. But yeah, I got... I'm, we need to have a conversation about the show. Yeah. We need to have a conversation about the show. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Oh, I can help. So, so what, keep... between Destiny and you? What? I mean, you can be here if you want. Um, I'd like to be here. Okay, so I think... I, I have think... Uh, some valuable input. Okay, so what I think about the show is... After being here and filling Carantos' role, I feel like the host role is kind of redundant. I feel like it should just be you, Destiny. I feel like you are with it enough to step in when people are being annoying, mute them, you do the straw polls. I think you should pick the questions because the people you get to pick questions haven't done that amazing of a job. Um, no offense to Kelly Jean uh, or any other people who worked on the show, but I think that it should be more catered to the guest list uh, next time instead of, once again, like questions that like ICE or other people wouldn't really be that interested in. Um, I think that's important. And I also think, honestly, I know you have a kick contract, but I think the show being on YouTube will be better. Uh, I know obviously you like to get the more risky guests, but I think overall it might be a little better to get a slightly more mainstream guests to get more viewership. And also the show won't devolve into just complete edgy degeneracy where people are just saying shocking shit for the sake of it, you know? Yeah, um, I think I agree with most of this. Uh, I think one thing that I think for guests that's been a hard balance to strike, especially just because the internet is so much different, I think that it was a long time ago, is the... Um, it, it the people that are here have to care um like no offense to some people or I take offense actually I don't give a fuck but like ice is like a horrible guest um and and a couple people that have like larger fan bases are just they're really bad they come on and they don't say anything or contribute in any possible meaningful way but they kind of like float through because they've got like big pre-existing fan bases to vote for them but they don't contribute anything and it just like takes away from the entire show um so I think that yeah those people shouldn't be invited um I also think that it's hard to find guests that are like funny, but also care or can passionately contribute to topics. Because I think like the best, your nexus of like the best content is when you have people that like kind of meme like really hard, but then they also care a lot about particular topics and they'll take the memes and they'll argue them. Like Wes is almost there, but he memes a little bit too much. I kind of think that the perfect, um, I don't want to suck anybody off, but I feel like the perfect type of guest is kind of like a veto. Because Vito obviously memes hard and he's very edgy, but he is like arguing for the topics and stays on task and like focuses like pretty hard on those things rather than yeah. just like shit posting the entire time or like being as misogynistic or transphobic or whatever as possible to be edgy, but then like not contributing in, in other ways. Um, yeah, because yeah, I, I think Vito's I, you know, good. Dick is good. Um, Dick is amazing. Chad yeah. Logic would probably be good. Yeah, um, about me. Vegan Games Vegan's is good, good yeah. obviously. I mean, you won a bunch of shows. Um, let me think who else has been good. I mean, Goku Nairo is pretty good. I think he has a good presentational yeah. style, and he usually is willing to engage in conversation. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, I also think topics in general, uh, this one wasn't catered towards politics, but I think in general, widening the scope of topics is probably good because the specific situational stuff, a lot of people just aren't keeping up with the news as much and maybe don't know. But if you broaden the topics a little bit, I think that can make it a little more interesting and kind of mix I, that with current events. I think I'd for personally like to see more political topics like you know Israel-Palestine shit. I think the problem with that is it precludes a lot of people from being on. Yeah, you're not going to get... I think that having Maybe. the... Um, one thing that we kind of did a couple times early on that I think works really well are like themed episodes. If you have a lot of people from the same community, you can get pretty specific on certain topics. Like having eight commentary people like on stream and then doing topics like very specifically about things like uh, Super Mega or how you would cover Chris Chan or, you know, what it looks like if you make a bad video. Like, should there be retraction? Should people be punished for it? Like you could ask like really specific questions that everybody would have very strong opinions about i think would be interesting um, i also think part of, part of the problem is a lot of people are being pulled from your community a lot of people aren't willing to come on the show but like let's say for super mega if we were able to get someone who is actually on the opposing side i think that would be ideal i know that's tough to do mm -hmm. but i think something like that would be good or like with the um christian harassment thing to get somebody who hates commentary channels i think that would be good yeah, um, for I sure. I yeah. expected ice to be more hateful but apparently he just doesn't give a fuck so yeah would i don't think Chris he can actually agree to come on here 
uh, I don't think they have the mental faculties to understand what kicker keep is. Maybe, yeah. Mm-hmm. They tried. They, tr- I think they were trying to get Christian on the Lolcow podcast. I don't know if it panned out, but in the initial conversations, Christian talked about the dimensional merge and meditation and stuff like that. So I, mm-hmm. I just don't know. It's with those kinds of people, it's tough. Um, but like with old Raj Royales and stuff, I feel like there was a whole cast of people, and it wasn't necessarily political. Like dating topics was like a thing people talked about or stuff like that. Um, I think that kind of thing can definitely benefit the show. So, yeah, that's my overall thoughts, if you care at all. Um, and also, once again, I think the host role, um, part of the reason why Carantos, I think, maybe was hated is because I feel like he felt unnecessary when you're around because ultimately, like, most of the time, the guests no, don't need to be interrupted or muted. Maybe you could have somebody who's willing to mute guests in lieu of you and just be like, okay, you're muted or whatever. Um, but I feel like you're better at carrying the conversation than anyone who could fill the role, basically. Yeah, a little bit. The only challenge there is that, and it, it might just be like an inappropriate concept uh, just because it's on my stream, is that I'm actually, I'm trying not to be the focal point. Like when, do you know who Raj, Raj is or Austin? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. When he did his shows in the past, he had a very, very, very minimal, like he was just there to kind of poke and prod. And for me, it's impossible. I can't do that. Like if I start talking, I want to be like, you can even tell like in this one, I tried to contribute more just because I'm not sure if I'm doing any more of these or how many more I'm doing these. But like when I start to like, I want to have a conversation. Like I can't just ask questions because I am super opinionated about all the topics and everything. Um, so if I'm doing a host role and then like also like actively debating everything too, it's yeah, it's just a different flavor, which isn't necessarily In that bad. case, mm-hmm. I think the role that you should fill more is getting guests for the show because someone like Kelly Jean or even me are less able to bring streamers in who might want to have a conversation because we just don't have as much pull in that world, you know? Yeah, there's multiple people and I've known these people too and known them for a while and met them IRL and they're still like, yeah, I'll come on if destiny messages me. And I'm like, what the fuck? Yeah, the girl that said that, if you want, you can tell her to kill herself because that That's it. chick is <laughs> She's not the only it. one. There's oh. like three of them. Well, tell me all the names. I'll tell you if I want all to kill themselves. But... Yeah, I, I, can, I can do that. They are <laughs> all girls though, hilariously, so... Who else is it? Wait, give me the names. Uh, I just I'll screenshot you and send you after. I'm not saying on stream. No, send me now. I'm just curious to the people. I'm not going to say any no, names. I'm just curious who it is. Gonna I'm not going to say any names. I'm not ruining guests. I just want to know who it is. I'm curious. Oh, you want Kelly, me what did you, you? Well, Kelly, well, yeah. what did you think about my my thoughts on the show? What do you think? Uh, you did it well. No, no, no. I mean, what do you think about my opinion after the fact of like what the show is or the direction? Of uh, I know your opinion is good. Um, I think the problem with strong characters like Vegan Gains is um, he will just make everything about veganism and like things like that needs to be. I wasn't even the one who brought up though. veganism first off. I so. don't care who brought it up. The problem is that that's what happens. I'm not saying it's entirely your fault. I'm saying it's a problem if the host is not wrangling in that. Um... Yeah, hang on. I can't do two things at once. Let me just screenshot this one. Send it. We also have to significantly pull back the edge, too, if it goes on YouTube. Although at this point, uh, at this point, uh, Tom, you're just such a you're such a child. I love you. I wish you were older. Um, it's so it's so edginess on the Internet. I don't know if it's because I got older. So now I'm just like a fucking loser or washed up or something. But edginess on the Internet just feels so much less funny than it was like. 15, 10 years ago. Well, because there's no, there's no like point to the edge because it's yeah, the, or because the edge has been pushed back on so much. So now all it takes to get a laugh is like saying, you know, a word maybe, or like, it just, it feels like, because it feels like a lot of the edgy people now are like, just like kind of bad people. <laughs> Like it's not, or they're just unfunny. Like fucking Aiden Ross is like the face of edginess. Like yeah. it's yeah. the best we fucking have. Where the yeah. fuck is, where the fuck is I dubs, you know? Yeah. Um, Hey, I produce a show. Uh, I used to talk a lot with Q about um, producing the lineups, and Q had a big love of getting a very loud, abrasive people, and that's a content he likes. I think I agree full heartedly with with Tom. Like putting the show on YouTube and cleaning it up a little bit, like edginess is an issue. But if you look at guys like Wes or Vito, they're very edgy too. But it's the layer of irony that makes it funny. I think we've had too many people um, on that literally mean that shit, you know? I don't I, I yeah. don't even think the problem is like meaning it. I just think it's like the creativity with the way that you present a joke. Um yeah. I think that's it. I think I mean, for example, imagine a debate style show with people like JJ McCullough or something. I don't even know if you'd be willing to, but just someone of that caliber who's like a more introspective thinker who is willing to have a deeper conversation above like screaming at each other and stuff like that you know like having people like him on it the would, show it would be really cool if you get get somebody like jordan peterson to come on <laughs> there's um, no yeah. way it's not, yeah, yeah. No. that's just not gonna happen but, Why? I know, but um you would never do it yeah the i think the main problem is the guest lineup for sure um but also streaming it on youtube to be 
would be uh, probably a benefit. Yeah. Yeah, I'd agree. And I mean, yeah. I'm, I'm, like, uh, if you do have sort of, uh, you know, protocols for how you want the debates to go, you know, uh, you should tell guests, like, I can reel it in. You know what I mean? Um, you can tell guests that certain words, like, you know, hard R's and this and that, you know, just won't fly. There wasn't any of that this stream. I think yeah. I think Queeman I think yeah. Queeman dropped the F slur once and that was it. So not that bad. Yeah, although not to be a uh, not to be a negative Nancy or whatever, but the if we want to get more serious guests on, there's some stuff like the the ultra hardcore uh, misogyny stuff, even from West this episode, yeah. but especially from Ice, that has to go completely. And also, yeah. again, like West's was kind of funny, but not really. Ice's definitely wasn't even remotely funny. It was just like gross. Um, yeah, but. Yeah. Well, I mean, even like, can be it, just as bad as that and has been just as bad as that on multiple occasions. So if you want to not have it, you kind of have to say it to everybody, right? Say what? Wes has been that bad on multiple occasions. Okay. Yeah. Well, like one, one thing I've been thinking about is like, um, like a themed show would be, I mean, for example, there's been a bunch of drama recently in the Valorant community because there's like a non-binary um agent or whatever that's been released and a lot of people are talking about you know whether or not that person should be there whether or not they're a token whether or not you should be banned from chats for calling clove a she or whatever um so i feel like a like a, a debate style show with like fresher guests who are like not accustomed to debating who aren't fucking sure. debaters although at that point people. obviously that's a problem but it would be fun well if you're gonna be hyper specific like that too you might want to actually uh give out the topics beforehand yeah but also at that point I too i wouldn't know anything about that i think at that point too it's better to just not even do like this format of like voting one person off around for something like that it might be more interesting to bring in an audience and then pull them before on what their opinions are and then have them do like a two-hour convo and then pull them after and see who, who moved and then like award prizes based on that if you wanted to do that yeah, yeah i mean i did say like maybe the format needs to change for our new show going forward so. thanks that was a great contribution thank you yeah um, uh, when i can I'm just say that's the... a good idea jesus you didn't say that's a good idea you said i show. said that it was a good idea <laughs> okay you get yeah, you want credit said... for that one kelly you get all yeah. the credit for that one it, everybody in chat give give, cre give kelly good credit time. for that one okay Do you think i wouldn't say it okay um when i just First got involved with the show, I wrote a production document outlining a lot of the issues with the show. And one of the biggest ones was that the voting system has to go. It's inherently the show is meant to promote smaller creators too. At least we meant to in the beginning. Nah, and, it kind of is, but the show yeah. is it's more to discover hidden gems, not just promote smaller creators. It's yeah, more like but the issue, hand. the issue with the voting system, it's inherently a popularity contest. Yeah, I know it is, and so, that's I yeah. think the big, the biggest control against that is just not inviting popular, boring people. So like people like Ice destroy the show because they're going to float through every single poll, and they get to choose who to kick off, and they're like the worst guests. Yeah. So all right, yeah. can we not shit talk people? Ironically so though, Ice was I not have a dead. Significantly worse one. than everybody else that was on tonight. Ice was sig like, Ice was probably the worst guest on the show tonight. Yeah. I think. Yes. Yeah, it messes yeah. up the voting. Because CX he didn't contribute to anything. What do you mean? It didn't even win, so it didn't mess it up that much. It did mess it up because it took a, a slot away from any other person that could have been there instead. Yeah. How much of a difference would that really have made? In this a massive situation? difference, considering he was literally in the final round. Yeah. 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 I don't think that the vegan games would still have won. It, it doesn't matter won. about who's winning. It, it just matters matter like the quality wins. of like the content and the conversation and everything. And ISIS doesn't contribute to anything. It doesn't care. And again, like a better guest could have uh, gotten second place. You know. I like, mean, you're just here. implying he sat there and didn't say anything. He basically did. Yeah. Before. That's right. not true. Uh, uh, I'm gonna get here. But okay. Thanks yeah, for I love you. Me on. I, I, might, I might DM you for more information or ideas. Maybe we'll see. But yeah. Okay. Have fun to go. Okay, sounds good. Right, um, Somnian, if you want, you can shoot me that doc again too, and I'll look it over. But um, yeah, we're still kind of working on it, and we'd love to almost rework the show in some aspects. A lot of the shit um, Tom outlined, the stuff that's already in there. Uh -huh. I think we could potentially make the show a lot better. Um, I did have a brief little statement. I know we have to go uh, from the production team. Yeah, go for Just it. Just wanted to thank uh, everybody that came on, gracing us with their time, energy. Uh, I want to thank all the audience for watching us. It's been a better part of a year, you know. And uh, also wanted to uh, thank uh, the production team itself. Uh, weekly effort being put into the show. We really loved making the show, to be honest. And we'd love to continue doing so if there's any possibility, you know. All right. Yeah. Thank you. Hey, we appreciate all the work and the help also, too. You've been uh, sending me overlays and stuff. And... There's a yeah. You guys did a lot of work behind the scenes, and we appreciate it. Does, can I was Q paying any of you guys or? No. no. 
<laughs> that's one of the biggest that's one of the biggest outlines we oh put into the document is we did this voluntarily to work on our skills there's a lot of really applicable experience in the team there's real life management experience there's real life with video production experience here oh, if we right. actually, one of them works at a food and, company and can we, when i said we, oh do they work at mcdonald's and then you wouldn't answer so let's not over the thing is james things. actually does manage mcdonald's which is a hard she job must, which applies she knows okay. yeah, that's right <laughs> look kelly we value your experience too it's all good let me just let me just finish yeah. real quick you know um oh that's so funny yeah, I think we could do the show way better if we actually had a budget put into place. All the money went to queue. If we actually had a budget for assets, actually had a budget to uh, pay writers, actually had a budget to get some money ourselves, the show could be so much better. Especially if it's put on YouTube, probably clean it up a bit. Okay. Yeah. All right, we'll see ya. All right, well, listen. Right. I love uh, you guys. James, you joined. Did you want to say something real quick? Because I got to leave like now. Yeah, I just... Because I don't want to overstay my credentials. I work as a shift manager at a McDonald's. I'm not a general manager, not an assistant manager. I just, because that keeps getting said, I apologize. Damn. That's You're all. being honest, my guy. At least you got that. Hey, listen, it's more of a job than Kelly has, okay? Good job. That's not true. I've yeah. had jobs. Okay, shut up. All right. Uh, take care, everyone. Thanks for watching the show. We love doing it. Hopefully, it's season one, and then season two comes. We'll see. All right. right. Take care. Have fun. Bye. Thank you. Oh, um, got a question for you, Destiny. Uh, what type of keyboard do you use? The one uh, on your desk. I don't even know. It's um, it's just like a Logitech something, but it's I don't know, like super. No, no. Like I mean, the synth you got. Oh, um, this is a, a CP50. I think it's a Casio keyboard. No, it's a Yamaha keyboard. Sorry. Okay. Yeah, I've got a old DX7. I was just thinking of uh, upgrading. Okay. Well. Good luck. Have fun. I'll see you guys later. All Bye. right. All right. Take care, man. I'm headed off. Um, yeah. This was the last Kip Co Keep. Um, yeah. Bye, everybody. Okay. Um, I love you guys. I will go to New York tonight and I will uh, see. Yeah. If you want to watch movies tomorrow, knock yourself out. I should be back on the 17th for normal streaming. And be careful. I love you guys. <laughs>